All righty. Welcome, everyone, back. I, we say this every week, but I'm like, I can't believe we're on week 10. Last week, it was week 9. Here we are at week 10 of the DNF Mutiny, of course, joined here with Darth Luke Yalassi and special guest for this week, Alpaca. Um, so, again, back for some more DNF duel uh, tournaments tonight. Just uh, hopefully, like, maybe one of the last ones before the patch. Who knows? Whenever that magic thing uh, does come out. But how are you doing tonight, Darth Luke? Yeah. Dude, I'm soon. I am doing so good. I was just telling you guys, I am like this close to finishing all my classes this semester. And I just, I just want to do nothing but play and commentate and celebrate. Uh, and so we are going to be doing a lot of that tonight. Uh, but yeah, this will be very, very likely our last tournament of the month, just because we all have families, we'll have uh, holidays coming up, which means we likely will not have a tournament, you know, like right when that patch hits, um, which is a little bit uh, unfortunate. But pumped to get the games going. How are you feeling tonight, Lassie? Dude, I'm so psyched. Like you said, this is probably the last one before the patch drops. So this one, this is the big one. This is a big deal. Uh, so yeah. I'm very, very excited. I almost missed this one, but I was like, ah, oh, it's the last one. I can't miss that. No way. Uh, so I'm very pumped to see what we have ahead of us. Um, yeah, so that's 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 my point. Uh, Alpaca, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, man. I wanted to be a part of it, but I got a little sidetracked, but you know, I had to contribute somehow. So here I am going to put my knowledge to where I can be and uh, see some sick matches. True. Speaking awesome. of sick We're pumped matches. To have you here, we, man. Thanks we, so much yeah, yeah. for being around. Yeah. We're pumped to hear you commentate, mm -hmm. hear your, your insight as one of the top uh, Berserker players. And yeah, can't wait to get into these sets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, speaking of, I, I told them in Discord, hey, don't start just yet, and they didn't listen. So <laughs> here we are. <laughs> they, they, they are excited for it. But yeah, so we have got coming up first here, Clivus. We've all seen Clivus uh, been around since basically the beginning of Mutiny here. Um, and Skitty Boy Jose. And so Skitty Boy Jose went on a tear last week. Um, didn't quite get them on stream. Um, they were like, well, their next match would have been streamed, so just almost. But they went through like three or four uh, Mutiny locals. It looks like we were trying to figure out who they played. It looks like it is the Berserker here tonight. Um, so I'll pack it. That's uh, your your speed of things, right? Is the Berserker. Oh, no, yeah. Player. I've seen this match. You've been a part of this matchup a lot of <laughs> times. Me and Clivus played a lot. Mm -hmm. And Clivus is, is actually really good in this matchup. He's very patient, which is very important in this matchup because he will just let Berserker kill himself and then he'll eventually capitalize. Right, right. Yeah, that's, I love it. It's, it's the broken record of seeing Berserker on screen. They're the glass cannon, you know, they, they do just so much damage, but it's, again, they're, they're spending their own life the whole time, right, to, uh, mm -hmm. to get it done for that. Um, so, yes, yeah, so then all of a sudden, if you can kind of just, like, withstand all of that, um, now all of a sudden you really only have to hit him once, right? And then, and then now all of a sudden Vanguard becomes a one-touch character because Berserker is giving up 88% of their life for a combo, right? Everyone becomes the one-touch, even Launcher. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, since they just got into it, predictions weren't quite right, but they are live now for everyone to Twitch check the channel point uh, votes in there for that. But yeah, alright, so the first round went the way of Clytus. I'm just while we're looking here. Well, good Ooh, pressure. that mix up is nasty. That, I hate that overhead, but it's so cool. <laughs> It's so hard to see because after you do it from a uh, from the 5B, you normally go 2B, you go low. So being able to cancel into that overhead is nasty. It's really hard to react to. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's so great. And then as soon as you start showing that you can react to it, now it's the the no mix mix, right? It's like, what if I just go low where I'm supposed to now? Um, yep. <laughs> you know, like that's odd. That's it's one of those like you're almost punished for knowing the game better. Of like now you've um, like you, you pass level one, so now you've simultaneously unlocked uh, levels three through uh, thirteen, right? For <laughs> for berserkers, so you get all the mixes. But okay, good punish there. All right, it's got berserker all the way in the corner. No uh, good tag. Yeah. I, I, I refuse to tech in this game. You explode <laughs> for teching, so I, I just don't do it. Right, right. It's the, the classic take the throw, right? Like, yup. Yeah. But game one's gonna go to uh, Skinny Boy Jose. Wow, I thought that was a little far for the super, but yeah, there it is. And Skinny Boy Jose taking the show, and well, I think they got uh, like seventh or fifth last week. One of those. They were in top eight for sure, um, if I'm remembering correctly. But. It definitely did look a bit too far, but he actually corrected it by uh, by doing 4S into the uh, the jump uh, magic JM. So they got closer, which is which was actually really smart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I swear I've only ever seen it hit in the corner. So then sometimes when it hits, yeah, when they're using it, you know, mid screen something like that. Like, does it, does it work right there? there? I, I don't know. <laughs> Not too much of a combo start. Oh my god, so much recovery on that 5B. 
heard you say not too much of combo stars you said watching this. Just going to basic berserker loops and we end it here with a lot of help. Clivus is so good at blocking that. Clivus is so good at blocking that. That conversion was crazy too to keep himself safe because Clivus was running up on him, but. Ah, uh, it's not worth to press. Clivus is trying to find a place to press the button. Right. Rather than find the button, found the blender and just suck the right hand. Yep. Just... <laughs> Alright, yeah. first round game two going the way of Skinny Boy Jose. Catching the back dash and converts. Where are the trying to back dash? Right, oh Ooh. no, we tried. We tried the setup, but Vanguard said no. Yep, yep. That DP works. All right, so currently Vanguard DP has 100% hit rate. For <laughs> that, 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 that's amazing to hear. Yeah, for, for those playing long at home. <laughs> the blocks. Yeah, oh. you command throw. Mm -hmm. Yep. You can throw guard cancels. I've actually never seen that. Yep, there it is. Nasty. Yep, that's gonna be game two. It's yep. hard. Yep. Super game for two, good. Game yeah. Jose. Yeah, for good measure. Just. Why, why have another combo here with the potential of dropping it? Not are you, are you, do you really think you're going to see a Berserker round where he doesn't end it in Super? It's just... Right, right. It's, it's like the it's, sun coming up in the morning. It's going to yeah. happen. I made a joke about making like a like a drinking game one time, and I was like, well, hold on. There, there's there's no shot I survive a Berserker <laughs> Super drinking game. Life is taking a minute. He's got to compose. Yeah, and I love that. Just taking a second, just breathe, you know, and, and Clivus has definitely fought a lot of Berserkers, right? He's, he's been around, e even just, like, outside of practicing and training with, with um, their other people, like, just in the UE, right? There's a, there's a couple very strong Berserkers. Like, there's a, there's and, a no, lot time. of Berserkers on PlayStation in general. Right, just... right. It's, it's a pretty good character, right? Yeah, I like this. I like maintaining the distance. Oh, and just gets a roll from the punish. Okay. There's been a couple drops from Jose. Hasn't had him deter it though. Yeah, sometimes that's just what you gotta do, right? It's like drops are gonna happen, you know, especially like just in, in any game, especially online setting, right? Like things are gonna happen. So if you can just keep moving forward, and especially with Berserker, I feel like you have so many opportunities to take a drop and just start, and you'll call it a reset. And uh, just oh, the oh, dive kick! The dive kick! It's so I love the dive kick so much. Are you? You're the you're the Berserker that dive kicks a lot, right? Or is that... Crazy? I tried to, yeah. No, it's, yeah, yeah, it dives I, really good. I think it's so good. That's how I can always tell. Like, we had two Berserkers that used the same color last week. And I was like, no, they're not dive kicking. It's not, it's not how bad it is. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, tried to reset, I think. Mm -hmm. Got out of it. Yeah, I, I like this, too, oh. just the distance game Pyrus is playing, right? Like, Vanguard yep. normal, like, yeah. Berserker has some pretty far reaching normal. But Vanguard definitely has further, uh, like a better range. Much further, for yep. Yeah. Doesn't get the same, you know, reward off of a, a straight hit like Berserker does, but by keeping him, oh, what a roll through. Got the timing on it. Doesn't matter if you have uh, uh, long moves, you just roll right through. Uh -huh. Ooh. Counter hit. Uh -huh. That will be it. And then there's Still ends in super. All right. I love that he ended like the fireball thing was gonna kill, and he just ended in super anyways, just for <laughs> the sake of it. But, but all right. Three zero. Skinny yes, boy Jose. Damn. Is. Skinny boy Jose taking it three zero. Yeah, I totally forgot. I forgot there was a second game. I just didn't even update the scores. Okay. All right. So that is Skinny boy taking it. Let's get that. So they are gonna move on to play the winner of pressing buttons and prime time. That'll be off stream. And of course, you know, Clive is still alive. Uh, for everyone, if, you, if this is your first meeting, you check it in. Everything here is best of five and double elimination, of course. Uh, but yeah, so then coming up next, I love that they're, they're already in here and ready to, is we've got Anju Pang and Magi. And we haven't seen Anju Pang in a while. And Magi, I hope it's Magi. I, I, there's a melee player with the same spelling, and it's Magi for them. So hopefully I'm not too far off. For the tag there, but uh, yes. I don't know any other way to say that, right? Mag guy, I yeah, guess. Maggie. Ma 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 Maggie. I don't know. Oh, I hit the wrong button. All right, Mag. All right, yeah. so they are in here. They are good to go. Let's get these scores up. Yeah, so Andre Ping haven't seen, uh, haven't seen Andre Ping in a while. They were in the first couple meetings and then um, just have been busy around this time for a lot of the other ones. Um, yeah, really, really good grappler out of uh, out of Jamaica. So part of the uh, the Jamaican US five v five. 
Yeah, he's, yeah. he's scary. I, I played him. Uh, played him in a long set, and he he was taking a good chunk of games. And that matchup's actually really good for Berserker. So being able to take games like that, he's he's got them reads. Right, really right. does. So, and especially with having a training partner like Neo, right? Yeah, Neo, Neo Kai also another very strong Jamaican player uh, in there. So yes, it definitely has the the Berserker matchup. But, all right, match right with the Swift Master. Uh, Yes, I know look. Magi was playing a little bit of launcher. I don't expect them to pull out the launcher. They normally are a uh, are Swift Master main, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen Magi play in a while, so we'll see. All right. Yeah, but this this one is just great. Just seeing the difference in like movement options between characters, right? This matchup. Really yep. Yeah, he's gonna be flying around. Mm -hmm. uh, Swift Master's basically a pixie character where. He's just going to be going back and forth, using the wind. Oh, that counter hit. Oh, I like the shoulder into conversion just to get through it. Good, Good DP, DP. But... that's what you do. Right, now, Swift Master not back dash, too. Back dash. Yeah. Well, we're, we're still in like a one-touch situation for both characters. Uh-oh, yep, <laughs> it starts. <laughs> yep. Now, all of a sudden, Grappler has the health lead. Oh, we're using the super. Oh, I, I, like I don't know if he gets good Oki after this, though. He certainly does hit it at does put Magi into like guess for game, though, right? Like this is maybe not guess for game, but if you get hit one more time, you perish. Yeah, one of those a stray magic hit or something, a tackle or, or a flip kick like that will end it. Right, right and especially as a grab, but with, with the threat of all the command grabs and all the different versions of command grabs and hits you have, just putting them, yeah, just like that. Try, try there to back this right on top. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, round one going the way of grappling. Yeah, so I do, I do like the super in that, in that scenario. Maybe, maybe a reset into using super to kill. But oh, what an anti air! We talked yeah. about reads on Andre Pang. Magi's yeah, been having good reads on themselves. Yeah, yeah. I love, I love. What, what an anti air into a third of your life. Just, <laughs> you got red at round start, and now you're playing the game. Like this. Bam. Set into the safe jump and another back dash. Yeah, I wonder if Andre Pang's gonna start calling that out. Like, something else there. No, oh, jump into it. You can't do that. Dang, Swift Masters made a paper. Yep. Holding up. It's okay. I would have too. The uh, grappler command throw after jab is very scary when you're low on life, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That I have the worst mental matchup against grapplers in any fighting game, and so at any point if the character on screen just has a command grab, I'm like in fear of my life holding up anytime I'm knocked down. So I totally understand. It. Especially low life, you know they want to pull it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a great anti-air. These anti-airs off of Magi have been great. Yeah, especially with the reward they get off of it, right? All the like you know, a third life into setup here, but all right, good guard cancel. Just get get this whipmaster off you. Not too bad of a trade here. Oh, too far for the combo. Okay, holding that block button. DP, get off me. So what, what a cross up that was. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I love just the stare down. Oh, we gotta beat the back dash that time. Oh, all right. I like that. Yeah, looks like back dash into a button there. Got the counter hit. Good little combo they got going here. All right, now uh, grappling in awakening, it's just less uh, chip damage, right? It's not. Yeah, less, less, white, le le it's, less white health. Yeah. Right. So. Which not... will get changed during the patch. We already saw that note. We saw the. Little... I think it gets uh, uh, Crusader's buff, where he takes less damage overall. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be such a cool addition to grappling. It just becomes a tank all of a sudden at the end. Ooh, what? I love the, the jump back here. Good roll. There. Yeah. I love the, my favorite thing is watching a fighting game and then popping off when they're not really Like, just the patience. Oh, the stare downs are Yeah. Because, yeah. mm -hmm. like, your Swift Master, you're the fastest character. I'm not a back right? dash. The back, they're like three for three on these back dashes. Like, they, they are scared yeah. of the command, though, <laughs> and rightfully so. Grappler right. will murder you. Yeah, and, and Andre keeps going for it, so maybe you see some sort of, you know, a different, like a MIDI setup, something like that. Uh, yeah, instead, well, then, then it didn't work. But there it is. Yeah. All right, even it up in rounds here. Well, we're only on game two still. Okay. 
down to the water, but I guess that's oh favors grab a good air to air punish there. I guess it was air to air, just an anti air. Yeah, it was anti air basically the Magi went for that read that time. Yeah, and, and lost two three to the health bar. Oh yep. Oh, I like oh, get off me. Yeah, yep. deep DP beat a couple options there, right? Oh, I wonder Ooh, if that was that supposed to be a, like a, a jump flip kick or dive kick thing. I, I've seen Anju do that. I think they wanted the air to air, and if it doesn't come, like they're not in the air, he has enough time to press a button on the way yeah, down, to, like he just did. To so. press another one. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing I'm not sure of is if the. Uh, Swiftmaster's tap, the big wind punch. I wonder if that's a projectile or a strike. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Oh, oh. I thought okay, all this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, now we yeah, beat the back dash that time. Good conversion. Good block. Ah, oh, drop though. It's okay. Yep, there's the DP. Swiftbin's pretty good on these DPs here, trying yeah. to close this one out. Yep. Alright, round one going the way of Magic. Here game three, this is, you know, winner side game for, for Magic. You gotta, gotta keep it in. But... Yep, gotta, gotta keep it going. Good. Scores reporting at the same time, so sorry if I'm quiet on commentary. No, no, you're fine. I keep looking yeah, no, over you, and you got, uh, yeah, there's like four more scores. Other responsibilities, like, oh, yep. Like, I was trying to get that jump, but oh, that overhead. JP was sweet and get that combo, but now Grappler is in awakening. The game starts. Oh, punish, good punish. Oh no. Oh no, we whipped the grab. It starts. Now we out. Magi is not having any of that. And good 5S. Able to convert into the 5B moves you from like quarter of the screen. That moves insane. Mm -hmm. But taking the game, 2-1. 2-1 yep. now, there we go. Staving off the loser side point just a little bit, right? Alright, but yeah, let's see if they can maybe maybe found some habits or can make some uh, adjustments here. Get another game in his set off of Audrey Payne. And again, Audrey Payne, very good grappling player. Oh, yeah. Uh, ooh, okay. Good block, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Trying to oppress with these far reaching buttons here, but up, oh, flip kick catches that. Gets caught for it. Man, the nerve of you to press a button that far away. I do love that, that Audrey Payne that He goes in, almost like for like just reading in air to air. Ooh, yep. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a cool too. reset. Yep, yep. Caught Magic Rat for the conversion too, so just deleted all the life. Oh, punishing that spot to be. Mm -hmm. Pretty good start here off 150% combo just over. Oh, what? and a command throw that does 33. Yeah, what, what a reset. Oh, and uh, there it is. All right. Just grab, scary. Yeah, just, just grab their things. Let me just casually... Uh, <laughs> Just, just two touch, you know. Swiftmaster, I think, still one of the considered one of the better characters in the game, right? Like, and just yeah, I mean, he did, he did get nerfed from top one, uh, because he he was pretty busted. Uh, you actually don't see too many Swiftmasters go for the uh the tornado belt anymore, the spiral swords, uh, because it got nerfed actually really hard. So. All right, yeah, so that ends that up... That will do it. Yeah, so that is 3-1 for Anja Ping. They're going to be moving on, playing another game off stream here. Yeah, it looks like Lassie was able to finish their game uh, as well here. Lassie, are you back in here with us? I sure am. Dope. All righty, so... Yeah, so you played Danny Phantom off stream. It looks like Lugia is still in their game. Wow, th this first round actually went pretty quick here and now the only other matches we have available are the ones um not on stream <laughs> okay 
But yeah, so yeah, just awesome set. Were you able to catch the um, any of that set there, Lassie? The with I the, caught the very last game, and just that's, the last. that's all I saw. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I missed out on most of it, unfortunately. So I can't give him any comments about what Angie was doing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, just that that casual perfect right there at the end, right? Like, let me just <laughs> three tap this guy. Just. I will say one thing I love that Andrew does, and I do not incorporate just because I don't. I should uh, is that is that fake out uh, J A that jump A where mm-hmm. he kicks, and you think, oh, he kicked. What was he doing? I'm gonna press a button now, but you can't. You just mm-hmm. you have to hold that, even though your brain doesn't want to. And seeing that work out for him so many times, there's a reason he does it. It's very effective. It's like a jump scare, basically, because like you said, they see you wave a button, they think they can do something, he comes down with JB, or if they want to stay in the air, JA hits him, he gets a full combo from that, too, so. Yeah, it's great stuff, and Andrew has great reaction time, he's so good at air to airs. I don't know if he had any examples in that set, but from my experience of playing him before, yeah, he's really good at that stuff. Oh, so think... how does the rest of our bracket look? Who's who's in the, yeah, yeah, so the next take, round of winners? Let me go over that just a little bit here. So we've got... All right, so Under God takes it 3-2 over Darthugia. Um, so they will actually be up here next. So let's get them in here. Who was Lugia against? Uh, Under God, or Mira Jane, sorry. Um, just, oh, okay. uh, just got out of the match against Under God. I did lose 3-2. He had a huge drop round two. I had a huge drop round three in... Uh, in the last match and so that's how we we both just threw spaghetti on the ground and the other guy picked it up and was able to come away with the win so. you and i are both in losers bracket round one we're doing great yeah. <laughs> friends i thought we said we were commentators so you know <laughs> that's, yeah, right. that. uh, I, that, that's I not too bad for yeah. this game i just commentate uh, <laughs> we got that os on deck man you need exactly. it <laughs> Dude, that's why I cool. started running tournaments. What do you mean? <laughs> that's how we got here. <laughs> Woo. Okay, uh, and is it primitive going against... It'll uh, be primitive Mira Jane. Um, but we're going to give Mira okay. Jane just a second here. Sounds good. Yeah, I mean, I've called them under guys because that was the first name that they mm-hmm. used. Uh, but now they have changed to Mira Jane on like everything, and so perhaps I should also change with the yeah, times. Yeah, that's I I saw it. I was like, all right, fair enough. Like you're you're officially Mira Jane on Discord, so I will listen now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do I do? Okay. Some, someone in the chat said I look like a gangster. That's pretty cool. That's just because I have a flannel buttoned up all the way. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah. Well, Understandable. No, no comment for me, but yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think I'm pretty good. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, all right. So coming up, so yeah, so let's see. Our, so our next random match is going to be Primitive Mira Jane, and then off stream, I think they're running it right now, is Pressing Buttons and Skinny Boy Jose. Um, Ooh, fun. Yeah, so Skinny Boy, um, while y'all were gone, I, I don't. I think y'all were playing your matches then, uh, but did take it 3-0 over Clivus. Whoa. Um, That's awesome. Oh, wow. In some, yeah, Berserker Vanguard. Uh, and then right now, so Dante Link, Link X and JR, is it? JR33D10 are playing. I wonder if that stands for something. Uh, but they're playing now. Winner of that is going to be playing Danny Phantom uh, here on stream. And then also running uh, off stream is going to be Nobly Snake, who took it 3 1 over Coffee. Um, and they're going to be playing against Odd Japan. Uh, and so that rounds wow. out our, our winners and quarters matches here. Yeah, and let's see okay, if we've got anything cool. fun. Loser side, prime, prime time Clivus. Uh, Ooh. Down lo- Coffee Magi down on loser side also. All right, and it looks like we do have Mirror Jane and Primitive in here, so we should be good to go to get into these new matches here. Perfect. Uh, Saki, would you like me to go run my losers match since that is ready? If it's re- yeah, yeah, you might as well get in there. And lastly, you good to get on here and help with some commentary? Sweet. Is this Alpaca and me doing commentary? It is. Yes, indeed. it is. Sick. All right. Dream team right here. You got a uh, tale as old as time here. You got Berserker and uh, uh, the Dragon Knight. I keep wanting to call him Under God, Mira Jane. Right. I, Under God is really our only uh, consi- I should say consistently appearing Dragon Knight. I know there's one other individual. Oh, and I, I haven't seen him in so long, I've forgotten their name. I'm so sorry if you're watching the stream. Uh, but you're really good. It's uh, Basu. 
if I'm not mistaken. Oh, Vox, you played it too. I am thinking of somebody yeah. else, but you're right. Vox does Vox. have a pocket dragon knight. Uh, but enough about that. Oh, man. Primitive it's is getting already Yeah. Oh, this is so much damage. I mean, you so much damage anyway. Poor, poor dragon knight. She has no health. Oh, good Vox and double overhead. Ooh. And not biting on the baits on the two A's, and good DP there. Oh, well, we got sucked up. Oh, we dropped it though. Sending his pressure though. Dragonite does not have big buttons like having the weapon. Oh, no bar. Yeah, no bar. And now Undergod has uh, infinite mana basically. Yep, big block. Okay. Yep. That was looking like a scramble there for a second. Oh no, yeah, they're near the end, yeah. But here we go, we got under God going good at the start, getting the pressure on, unlike the last round, but block. Yeah, all this Found it. by that one. Look at all this white health, he's about to be gone, oh, so much. And it keeps going. The guard gauge is bleeding too. Primitive, oh gosh, it's so similar. Primitive needs to use the pressure and let that guard gauge recover. Up, oh, there it goes. Might be dead. This might be dead. dead. You're so dead. Uh, uh, yep. There is never a time when it starts a combo when you have 70% health, and I don't care if you started with an A button. I just. Well, that's, a, that's a safe assumption. Being able to super every round is uh, very privileged. And Primitive takes the first one, goes up 1-0. Let's see if uh, let's see if Mira Jane can make its uh, adjustment. Try to get there again. Good pressure worked out last round. Just kind of got caught at the end. Yeah, honestly, there was nothing bad that you just got touched four times and lost the game, and that's what happened. Uh, so you just have to make those slight adjustments. Oh, not enough mana to continue. Oh, no. Oh, you got caught by plus frames. Yep. Alright, now guess your life. And you're dead. You are dead. Alright, well, while this combo goes. Oh yeah, you, I, I can take a nap real quick. <laughs> That's the thing about this man's combo. The turns of combo, I, I totally find the combo to be I just, there's no wrong. I'm like, brother, just no To be and, fair, I honestly think Vanguard's combos are longer. Really? The way he knocks down and gets the OTG, you think it's over and then he just OTGs you again. And like you said, Dragonite's got real stubby buttons, so it's hard for her to. Uh, oh, reset. Good DP. It's hard for her to contest from far away. But Primitive has drained himself so much. Just one more time. Oh, like that's yep. Be it. Like there it is, yeah. And like we were talking, Sake and we were talking, sometimes Berserker is a one-touch character where he dies in one touch because he killed himself. Fuck. Oh no, that, that wasn't safe. I don't know if he thought he had mana to keep going or what, but they would have capitalized. Yep, and all the way corner to corner. Now you're in a one-touch situation. Guess for your life, or you get yep. wrong. Then, then you're dead. Yep. You did a little shimmy, did a little hop, and then uh, you caught him high. Those overheads are so tough. Every time I get hit by those overheads, I think I should be able to react. I know it's reactive, but it's just I think it's like right on the borderline of reactable. Where, yeah, technically it's reactable, but you, you gotta be on point. Taking game two, going up 2 0. Oh. Oh, 
Oh wow, I cannot believe that the Duck stopped that move. I did not expect that at all. Oh man, the longer button work in there. Dragon Knight does have a really fast button to five frames. Oh, we baited the guard cancel. That was so good. Oh, this is so much damage. Close to dead. I possible, but we're not gonna risk it. Uh, it was a little high, but we got caught low after blocking the high. Feels kind of bad. It happened so many times. I blocked the high and I said, yes, I did it. And then I did my celebration. That there's no boost. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Hey, no, I just trying to try to change. Oh, we got hit. I don't know what they were trying to do, but we DP out of that one. And these DPs have been have been connecting. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah, oh, conversion cancel. Conversion cancel. You thought you could punish that There's another one. Get off me. Yep. He hit Astra. Oh, I was gonna say, if you did that up, I would not like it. Ah, dang. There's, there's the failure of the DP. Primitive taking it. 3 oh. Really quick as Berserker rounds tend to go. Yeah, absolutely. So, you're, I mean, as a Berserker main yourself, what is that matchup like? Dragon Knight, because I, I have no idea what Dragon Knight has to deal with against a Berserker or vice versa. Dragon Knight has to deal with long range buttons uh, from being like safe to guard cancel, so it is tough for them to get you off, which is why you saw Mira Jane use DP a lot, because you that's it reaches a lot farther than guard cancel. I think Dragonite has superior neutral. The jump fireball is pretty hard to deal with, and the baseball swing can be a little bit of a pain. Uh, but once... Uh, once Berserker gets in, it, it's tough because she's made a paper. Yeah, that's fair. And I would imagine the vacuum is hard to deal with as well. Although I didn't see in that set vacuum used or abused too much. You see Dragonite jump back into the fireball a lot, so it's harder for Suck to hit it because it doesn't actually reach full screen. It goes like three fourths. It goes almost full screen. I think in the beta, it went full screen. Yeah. Did it really? I didn't yeah, know the... to play the beta. That's insane. Yeah, and all right. So that is Primitive moving up then. So they'll be playing up against Skinny Boy Jose um, here pretty shortly. And then for the other matches that have been going on, it looks like Prime Time has taken out Clivus on the loser side wow. there. Has moved on 3-1. So Clive has really? got double berserkered, <laughs> and the well, I think prime time is a striker. striker. Oh, prime time is a striker. Yeah. You're right. I I, I remember the yeah. pr primitive was on screen and they played berserker, and yeah, I understand now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think other than that, everyone is just playing their set right now. Who am I against? Who you will be against the loser. So you are gonna play the loser of Dante Link X and Jr. Three. 33d10 um they were having a bunch of issues getting the rooms to work and so they're like part way through their set now and so that's why we're waiting once that is done we'll have an opponent for danny phantom so let me go ahead and get danny phantom in here then oh danny phantom already know. danny Fa oh, good shit danny phantom i, I yeah, appreciate already that. on, on I, point i was literally that. like like leaning over to to message them in discord and they're just they're they're chilling they they know what's up they got it but yeah, so yeah they... danny phantom was playing really well they smoked me it was 3-0 <laughs> i oh i granted i did make some mistakes but that doesn't matter they played really well and every mistake i made was capitalized perfectly and i was like ah oh, that's fine it's all right whatever right you're like i guess i guess it happens it's <laughs> I I got hit by it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah, they're so they're so so good. Usually Danny and I do kind of go back and forth, but not today. This was all them. Mm -hmm. They wrecked mm -hmm. me. They're 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 just on there. You see them? They're they're doing push-ups here in the lobby, getting ready for it. 
yeah so hopefully that'll be good what we may do as well since primitive is in here just so we have a game to run if they're down let's get primitive and uh skinny boy in here just for a second get that berserker mirror yeah. ready oh it is a berserker we've been trying so hard yep. to get a berserker mirror <laughs> and we've got it maybe if we stall just a little bit or darth you'll be back in time to watch it too So they should be getting in here. Primitive's already in here. Yes, yeah, so we'll just get uh, Skinny Boy Jose in. And so that'll technically be, we'll be jumping ahead a little bit in bracket. Um, but just so we don't have just, we're not just looking at my lobby avatar sitting down in here. That is my favorite character gesture. It's just. <laughs> it is a sweet character gesture. Mm -hmm. It's just, he's Zen. Yeah, I'm just the biggest of chilling. It's just me. And it's like, I'm just here. I'm just here for the tournament anyway. It's chill, but. But yeah, so this is this will technically be our first round of winners top eight. Uh, but yeah, just getting primitive and skinny boy Jose in here. So let's get that set up. Primitive is already in here. Skinny boy Jose already here as well. Perfect. Who did skinny boy beat to to get here? Skinny boy beat. So they we they played Clivus on stream, and then they beat pressing buttons off stream three two. Ooh, that's uh, close one. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And so, Primitive and Skinny Boy are in here. Let's get these names set up for them. And this is going to be uh, our first match of top eight winner side. Now, I've said this once, and I will die on this hill. This mirror match is beyond degenerate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it starts with one going off, and then if the other one blocks the mix, then, uh, well, the other one can die in one hit. So <laughs> it's a one-touch game for both sides. <laughs> First one to block loses. It's <laughs> that classic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw a video. I think it was uh, Flowchart Ken made a YouTube video about this matchup. Just the fact that after one combo, regardless of who landed it, it's a one-touch situation left for both sides, so it doesn't matter who lands the first combo. They just they get the Oki afterwards, and that's the reward. So Alpaca, you're gonna have a lot to explain to me here about this uh, mirror match, because this is uh, this is your area of expertise. Well, there's two options right here. They're either gonna backdash or for us. Or they can wait. Okay, I right. second there, I thought it wasn't there. Yeah. Good block, but oh, couldn't block below, but we didn't believe. And now you're dead. Oh, wait, is he still? Oh, yeah, he's got, he's got over 100 bar. He can get two sucks. Oh. I don't think he will. Oh yeah, just one suck works. Oh, Pink. Yep, there it is. That vacuum does so much damage. I yeah, it ha has no right doing that much damage. It, it really doesn't. It's so insane. You think you're fine because the scaling is so high, and then yeah, that means that scaling is dead. I just, I just think the developers forgot that scaling is just not one particular move. Oh, that was so sick! Yeah, it was insane. We just take the knockdown and we get DP out of there. Yeah, is using that block to make this crazy fast despite all this pressure. That guard game is real bad. Oh no! Just, 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 just end it, please. Just end it, you're scary. Okay, okay, okay. And about 15 minutes, I swear to God, I was on top that whole round and just kind of died.
Need the Oki, and we faked him out and went low, and now you're dead. I'm not even gonna question it this time. I'm gonna assume you know exactly what you're talking about. This is not going to kill. Oh yeah, this is this is more than enough. And just like that, it is gonna take it. Man, these rounds were like so fast. That, that is the one thing with this mirror, is that it is ending very quickly, no matter what. They speed run this match, the mirror is stupid. But we gotta play it, we gotta watch it. It's fun watching it, it's not fun playing it. Oh, I, I'm sure, I have no doubt. I do see what, here now why Neo Kyo refuses to play this matchup. It's not so much who's the better Berserker, it's just who's good on that round. We went a little high on that mix, did it a little slow, so we couldn't confirm. Broken. Oh, that hard break. Wow, I didn't think he was actually going to have enough time, but he sure did. Bonk, bonk, yep. That is enough, right? He's only at 9 Yes, it is, yeah. Oh, he's dead. Okay, yeah. Most of the time, if you see them do the vacuum, it's, it's pretty much death. Because they know at that point that that will kill. Wow, what a pickup. I thought that was going to be a drop, but absolutely not. Oh, that was sick! Oh, Girl, that was sick. Oh, yeah. That, that was nasty. We ain't having none of that DP. Good kill. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's dead. Just finishing it off with a little bit of flash. That was so cool. It would have got me too. I, I pressed DP in my head. Oh yeah, you don't want to have to deal with any of that. None of that at all. But we even it up on one. Yeah, both of them are pretty much staying conservative, backing off, and just kind of wanting to get into frenzy, throwing a gore cross. Yeah, that that hurt. That hurt. Oh, that was a great pick throw. Okay, guess the game here. Oh, oh good delay. Right yeah. Nope, try it again. Yeah, he's not working out that time, but that the delay on that first one was very solid. Yeah, it caught the gore cross. I mean, it, it's it's a solid fireball, but it does have some startup. Interesting route, but we'll take the knockdown. Yep, oh, fake out. Sick. Oh, that gets me every time. Whoa. Ooh. Are you serious? That was nice. That was a really nice 5S. The thing about Berserker guard cancel, and even his DP, he's not very plus afterwards, so if they want to go into Frenzy, they're, they're very minus if they go Frenzy. And he's gonna kill you. Yeah, you're dead. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, sir. Oh, I always say, nah, he's got too much health. He can't put the awakening. And I'm wrong every single time. From a specific starter, Berserker can either drain himself from 95% health or even 100% health. He will get into Awakening with the right route. That's insane. Just like that, Primitive is taking it 2-1. Wow. These games are close, though. 
Both of these players are showing some great skills. Oh yeah, no, both of them have knowledge on the mirror. Catch him pressing the button. This is yep. uh this is a bad place to be, but at the same time primitive is also great to use higher health margin on Oh, that's why he didn't actually convert that last one, yeah. He wanted to keep that bar, that was a good block. Now see, one thing that could happen, you see the Berserker with the first hit of the 2B a lot. A lot of people can just jump right after. If you notice the spacing, you can actually punish that. Whoa! That was deep range! I didn't think he was in range for that ass. I didn't either, honestly. Four crosses to keep him out and then he'll rush in. Now you're in the corner where you do not want to be. Uh, a little, little early on that guard cancel. The only person I see actually guard cancel that correctly is Luan. You, you have to guard cancel that last hit, otherwise you're getting hit by the splash. And you're dead. Wow, there's so much damage. Oh, this is Berserker Mirror. Yup. Uh, and Primitive's gonna take it. 3-1. That would be such a great showing, though, uh, by both players. That was... I cannot imagine playing that Mirror match. No thank it's, you. It is mad degenerate. Well, that was our first match of top eight, if I'm not mistaken. And we got Dante in here now. I like watching Dante's Ranger. Mm -hmm. Yep, so we've got Dante Link X coming in up against Danny Phantom PR. So, Dante, yeah. yeah have, got, oh, I yeah, would probably I think, go play my set. Right, I think you've got your set, Lassie, so you go ahead and do that. I think Rance finished their set, so they should be back soon if they're not back already. Yep, I am here. Perfect. And uh, oh my goodness, man! The set against Under God came down to the last, last round, last hit, and the exact same thing happened here against uh, Kevin Batoy. I I got a guard break with Vanguard. I know it's crazy, but I got a guard break, and then he was out of range for me to hit anything else, and so I just completely missed the damage. And then yeah, you know, uh, he was able to get a solid Hitman uh, Awakening combo and and take it. And so he's advancing on to fight Andrew, which oh. Woo, good luck to both you guys. Oh, I'm excited about this match. The Battle of the D's, Dante versus Danny. I, uh, obviously, I'm partial to Danny Phantom because he is a fellow Vanguard player. Uh, he always uses the pure white color, which, of course, is Danny Phantom. So he's in character at all times. I really appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, Dante has a very, very strong Ranger. Very entertaining to watch. Uh, knows when to get those guard break setups going and is just a powerhouse with this character. How is this matchup for uh, Vanguard and Ranger? Not good. Uh, as a Vanguard, I'll tell you, not good. Uh, it, it's better than a few characters, right? Because Vanguard does have like mid-range buttons that can interrupt a few things. Something I need to work on is interrupting the gun carousel. That is possible with like AA. That's about his only move that's fast enough to do it. I think that's a really important thing in this matchup uh, against anyone. You have to interrupt the uh, the Gunhawk. Mm -hmm. And it's tough because, you know, Vanguard is a... Oh, just let you guys know, Prediction should be live in the chat as well. So spend those points. It's free. It's fun. Um, ooh, that was nice. It's tough because Vanguard, you know, he is not a full screen character. He is a half screen and, and kind of wants you a little bit closer than half screen to really get his pressure going. And, you know, Ranger uh, excels when you're just as far away as possible. He did trade with that DP, which is mad surprising. Yeah, I think there's one bullet, maybe two, that goes over Ranger's head. And so I've had to have a number of times with just that single hit, you know, uh, hits you. Ooh, good guard cancel. That was plus range. Good stuff by Dante. Uh, he put him in, debuffed him. I wonder, can he kill? Mm. He, he started oh, off so close. Oh, oh he's still going. Oh. Yeah, that was the max amount of like gravity uh -oh. and combo feeling possible. Uh oh, guard break. Oh, okay, not that bad. 
And that's another thing, Vanguard's guard, uh, guard cancel is awful uh, in general, but especially in this matchup, because it has no horizontal range. Ooh, avoiding okay. the 2A with the jump M. That was sick. That's incredible. That's so freaking good. Um, sorry, quick question. Death Deliverer, what's the Macharino sitting at? We are not doing match, uh, a Macharino yet. We'll be doing that after the patch drops. Then we'll start doing uh, Macharino and Prize Spot for the tournament. Ooh, awesome. Okay, oh, we're just running up. We can't let him have that. Yeah, Danny's playing that well. You need to be in the face of Ranger. You cannot give him any space. Do some good combos, some good damage here by Dante for the grenade. Ooh, <gasps> yo, he was Matrix Matrixing around that. Uh, I can't he, believe he yeah, got he around it out. Yeah, he wanted out. Yeah. He is gonna die here, but I don't know if I've ever seen someone fully dash every hit of that move. Like, there's like what three or four gunshots? Three or four bullets? Yeah, I think it's like four. Yeah. Oh, that was cool. Okay, good first game, and yeah, first round is gonna go to Dante. Um, Danny Phantom, uh, he's DD 23. This man has played this game a, a, a ridiculous uh, amount of time, but. You know, he's definitely played some Rangers. Uh, I I don't think he likes the Ranger matchup just because, you know, I know the character. Um, but again, we talked about oh, like that right there. That's one of the, the best slide. Games. Yeah, that was sweet. I love seeing that. Oh, that was a beautiful bait. Yeah, they know people like Roland Vanguard, so he just sat there and waited. Yep. Yeah, that was a fantastic choice by Danny Phantom. <gasps> and another fantastic choice. He knew he did not have enough damage to kill, so he didn't spend any more meter. Instead, he did a kind of a mini reset uh, and just went for the air, uh, the air dive on as soon as he could. Mm. Oh, good conversion. Go ahead, convert off that 5M. Full screen. Yeah, that move by Ranger is one of the best uh, anti airs. Oh, very nice. Using the 6MS uh, into conversion to continue the combo. Yeah. Got the debuff state, though. Nope, this is going to be it. Uh, Rumpled up, yep. Dang. See, uh, the patch that's coming out that we keep alluding to, you know, talks about 100 new buffs to skills. It also talks about making Awakenings more interesting. I think Ranger's Awakening is incredibly interesting. Like, it gives you three different debuffs that uh, kind of no other character gives that to you. So, like, I'm not saying Ranger's is, is the best in the game, because there's others that I think uh, rival it. But design choices like this, I'd love to see uh, things similar to what Ranger's got going for him. Yeah, it's, re it's really cool. It's very unique, that's for sure. Good guard cancel. Ooh. Run up throw. Great tool to use with the Vanguard player because people just do not expect it. <gasps> Tried to throw, thought he was close enough. Yeah, you can't guard. Oh, wow. Wow. This is got. No. Okay, now that's going to be it. That was guaranteed. Uh, as soon as he jumped that low gunshot, Danny Phantom was guaranteed to take that round. He's either going to get the hit or he's going to get the guard break. I ended up 1-1, making it look uh, not horrible for Vanguard, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, this player, uh, any player, you know, uh, usually and hopefully should be able to overcome a bad matchup. Um, and right now he's making it look like a, like a decent matchup. With a good I punish, too. It was nice. Ooh, really good punish. Some good corner damage here by Danny Phantom. Good guard cancel by Dante. He wants out of this corner as fast as he can get. Good backdash away from the slide, too. Yeah, that was nice. He put himself in the corner, though, so see if he can get his way out. Ooh. Okay, this is going to be likely a setup into grenade. Yeah, it's going to be a tough situation. Nope. That's exactly what Rangers want you to do in that situation, mm -hmm. is uh, is jump. But it's so that's hard. What, that's what, 
Yeah, that's what Danny's been doing a lot though to avoid the uh, the two way, the low gunshot. He's been jumping away, doing jump us. And it's been working out a lot, so that was a good adjustment by Dante. It was. Well, and that's I want to point that out as well. How Danny has been waking up roll, waking up jump. You know, like mm -hmm. he does not want to take any of the options that Ranger has. And so if Dante can see that and adjust, which he's done a little bit of, uh, might be uh, putting himself in a better situation to take this. I like that safe jump setup, that's nice. I don't utilize yeah, that. Yeah, with the button. Yeah, that was sweet. Good patience with that grenade there. He was going to get pushed into it. <gasps> oh, he, uh, he tried. Yeah. yeah, he tried to float on up there. Thanks to all that chip damage, this combo is, what, 75%? Maybe more? 70%? <laughs> Ooh, the card bar bleeding. Yep. Good patience by Danny Phantom. He's an aggressive player, but ooh, he's taking his shots at the right time. Yep. Yep, and this will be straight into the super. Keep the combo simple. Make sure that you get that kill. That's exactly what Danny Phantom did. Tied up in rounds. Ooh. Rolled right into the Gunhawk. Yep. That's one of his best anti-roll moves because it just uh, it's active for so long. Yep. Same with that one. <laughs> That's another really good anti-roll move. Yep. Like you said, he noticed that uh, Danny likes to wake up, move a lot, roll or jump. So he's been putting out those meaties a lot better. Yep. Okay. Ooh, waking up. Yes, he's gonna get around the grenade because of the animation of that uh, of that DP. One of the only redeeming traits of the DP. Oh, while I'm talking, uh, Dante is able to take game number three and go up two one. But yes, th there is a um, an animation attached to that DP, and so if a nuke is coming, if a grenade is gonna blow up, um, it won't touch you because it's it has to commit to going through the animation before anything can uh, interrupt that move. Beautiful. Punish on the slide. You get Dante going a little bit slow chart. Danny realized that and hit him with the JS. Yep. Good option there by Danny. Ooh, starts with Brandon. Okay. <gasps> Yo, Ooh, that was sweet. Okay, I think he did that to try and build enough meter, you know, to go into his next move. So like, because that, that puts him in the air just long enough to potentially. Oh, the hammer. Oh, that's amazing. That's one of the most satisfying moves in the entire game to hit. But as Vanguard, that is the most satisfying thing you can do. It feels so good. Oh, no. Uh, ooh, yeah, Danny is doing an incredible job of being unpredictable. We, we've called out some of his tendencies, but at the same time, he is mixing it up. Ooh, that, that's interesting. The, the shoulder tackle is not plus, is it? It, it is. Yeah, like, it is plus? there are times. Okay. Well, uh, sorry, on hit, it's plus. On block, it is not. Right, right. Yeah. I think you can get a combo in certain situations. Ooh! Yeah, that was Yeah, tough. no choice. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, it's checkmate. That's it. I have seen combos where people are able to use the shoulder charge and, and not even use conversion afterwards and get, you know, a, a follow up afterwards. Nice. Another Good. jump on wake up beating that, yeah. He loves using that 6MS in the middle of combos uh, to get the extensions, and it's a good option. Ooh. Good patience. <gasps> this could, nah, this could be close, not quite. He does not have awakening. Oh, wow. Good guard cancel. Ooh. 
he was close enough to get around the gun hop. But he went into a grab. Oh! And the tech! Oh and my god, that was sweet, yeah. That was a great set. Holy crap. I love that. No, that was just incredible. Oh, that was a really good set, even though Dante takes it 3-1. Danny fought back really well, showed a lot of good options that Vanguard could have against Ranger. Yes. Yep. No, that great uh, great attempt there by Danny Phantom. He was able to get rounds in each of those games. Um, obviously, take a game. You know, it was 3-1. Uh, really love seeing that style of Vanguard. I appreciated that. So Dante's going to go on to fight Noble Snake. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's going to be nice. They, they've been on a bit of a tear. So they, they took out Coffee 3-1 and then Anju 3-0. Yo, uh, yeah. We need to call out Noble Snake's route here. That is no yeah, simple. Yeah, that's, uh, I, I've been looking. Yeah, and, so, and then now they'll be up against Dante. And so we'll get Dante just a second, but. Yep. So apologies, I've been stuck on the uh, the loser side of bracket. I haven't been able to pay attention to anything else just because my games have been taking so damn long. Uh, but no, that's an insane uh, route to go through. 3-1 over Coffee and then 3-0 over Andrew. Mm -hmm. And then let me see, Andrew is still playing. Kevin, um, Dante, Dante, taking on Noble S. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just want to do a brief uh, thank you to all you guys watching. We're going to get our next set going as soon as our players are ready. Uh, Dante is going to take just a second because, yeah, that match was stressful as hell. Um, and then if we can get him back in, then, uh, you know, we'll have him playing for stream for you guys here shortly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, very uh, grateful to have Alpaca here. Uh, you know, he has some new responsibilities, right, in, in, his, in his household and his life. Uh, so wasn't able to join the bracket today, but still wanted to contribute and be on commentary. Have you enjoyed uh, the tournament so far? Oh, it's, it's been great. Great sets. You got to watch a G DJ and Berserker mirror. <laughs> so I was gone for that. Uh, that's why we had it, though. We needed to have, see, have you see it. I know you want it. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> it, it'll be in the VOD for you for sure. <laughs> Yeah, awesome. yeah, it'll be in the VOD. I'll post it to my channel. I'll, I'll, I'll watch it on Twitch. Yeah, it'll, it'll be all, I'll be able to rewatch it later. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, that's exciting. It's always exciting. Yep, and so then on the back end, just an update on some matches too. So Kevin Batoy, um, so they played, so they lost round one to Primitive 3-0. Right. And then um, took it over you, Darth Lugia, 3-2. And then mm -hmm. just took it over Anju, 3-1. Wow. And so now they'll be playing the winner of Danny Phantom in primetime. That'll be um, some off-stream matches. And then also um, during that set, Mirror Jane and Coffee played. Mirror Jane took it 3-1 over Coffee. Mm, and so dang. They, they will be playing the winner of Pressing Buttons and Lassie, who are playing right now. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, Sake, were you were you live for all that as well? Did everyone yes, hear you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. just want to make sure um awesome uh, yeah i love seeing newcomers uh, at least newcomers to our tournament you know these guys uh, have their own streams these guys have their own you know uh they play a lot the newcomers to our tournament do well uh in the case of kevin batoy uh noble snake you know skinny boy jose right uh, getting to winter semis against bruno that's huge as well uh love seeing these names that we haven't heard quite as much show up and just show how talented they are at this game Yeah, it, it is so fun just just seeing everybody and just get come and again it's my favorite uh, we were talking about it earlier i think either it was either when we started commentary right before it but my uh my favorite like dead horse to beat about mutiny is that everyone who oh. enters is just 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 insane just just a murderer right at, at any given moment, it's like if you've heard about mutiny somehow you all you know signed the waiver beforehand or something <laughs> that you need to be insane at this video game um yeah, and Dante is on the way right now, so perfect. Not quite sure who the other person yeah. is in the lobby, but good times. Good, you know, Gossam spectating. Um, yeah, yeah, like, we talk about this every week. Killers. Killers mm -hmm. on top, killers on bottom, winners, losers. 
which is absolute great people yeah. in the bracket. Like, and you you oh, choose to be here. Right. <laughs> <you> yeah. fight <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just enters just out of their own free will. They just think it would be fun. And there's never, like, a good route through mutiny, right? Like, we, that's another thing we talk about every week is that there's never, like, like generally there's not easy, easy routes through any bracket, right? But there's not even, like, a good one for mutiny sometimes. <laughs> it's like, well, I'd rather fight. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> none of these people are, are someone I, I, I want to deal with going against, but... But, all right, so Noblest Snake, and I believe from I, they had a they had a couple people talking about him in the Twitch chat here, um, so I think they are and they've got the Inquis um, mm-hmm. lobby avatar. So they, they are an Inquisitor, a very yeah. high ranked uh, Inquisitor. They are really good. I played them before. We go back and forth actually. Really. Uh, so I'm I'm really happy to see him in the uh, in the tournament. I actually posted it to a uh, a chat that I'm in, hoping to grab some people, and he ended up showing up. So that's awesome. Sweet. Oh, nice. Yo, Spliffy, uh, shout outs to Spliffy, man. Would love to uh, uh, play you again someday soon. Can't wait for Mutiny after the patch. Yeah, no, I I think it's very likely that our first Mutiny after the patch, we, we could have our biggest entrance yet. You know, if everyone's back from the holidays, if everyone is available, just because a lot of people have, you know, on my YouTube side of things, are like, hey, I'll come back after the patch. You know what I mean? Like, uh, the game's just not for me at the moment. Um, so I, I'm pumped, man. I'm pumped to see how many things change. I'm terrified for characters like Striker, characters like Berserker to get even stronger than they are. But every single character is going to get elevated. So we have to have a, a brand new meta to dissect. Oh, man. Yeah, you very, very high rated Inquisitor. You are not lying. Oh, yeah, he, he grinds this game. Just a reminder, guys, go ahead and spend your channel points uh, betting on who you think will win. I've already dumped about 500 today, but I'm still looking pretty good. Yeah, pocket change. Yeah. Oh, man. This is where I'm terrified of Inquisitor. It's right here. Oh, when she got you in that corner throwing the fire on you, she is mad scary. Yeah. And uh, we saw from the balance patch, he's going to be able to camp. Woo! <laughs> that was awesome. You ready for that slide? Back. That was good. Ooh. Yeah, the oil throw into uh, her dancing attacks. And so, like, yeah, I try to get the oil to got. Caused less drops than, like, just like there. But uh, Ranger being Ranger gets a guard break because he's a zoner for some reason and, uh, and gets the kill. That was uh, what? I mean, she only has 850 damage. So that was like a 80%, 85% combo. Uh, mm-hmm. So much chip. Uh, the guard break potential on Ranger, yes, is higher than most other characters in the game. Uh, I think the Ranger and Striker right now probably get the most consistent guard break. Good convert. Wow. Keeps the oil as well. This makes all of her... Ooh! Ah, but we dropped it. Yeah. Now we're stuck in the corner versus Ranger. The trade. Catching that slide every time. We see that from uh, Danny Phantom, and now we see my uh, No Bless. Uh, instant jump into a special move. The punish that slide. Good patience. Okay, conversion. Ooh, but he's not oh, to she, yep. She's so fast. It's so hard to see when she's running up to you. Yeah, no, it is for sure. And at any point, you try and press a button, and she can just uh, throw. <laughs> she can throw her fire bottle, and then you get got without pressing button. Uh-huh. Up her advance. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, we tried to guard cancel there, but didn't quite get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I hate. I hate personally fighting Inquisitor. Just not necessarily my character matchup. But just a, as a personal matchup. I love watching Quizzer play though. This is a really, really fun character to see someone make work. Mm-hmm. Seeing someone shine with her is really nice because she does have tools. It's just that uh, they're a bit harder to use than the rest of the cast. Yeah. That's a stick looking combo. Okay. Wonder what his ender is going to be. Ooh! Back dash. Just and run just up and throw. Yep. <laughs> This is exciting, dude. High-level Inquisitor. 
showing us how to play the character. I love this. Big and this is top eight, correct? Oh yeah. This is semis, I think. Yeah, yep. yeah, playing Winter for team. winners finals too. Yeah. Oh, good conversion, going low. Nice, good bottle. Ooh, that bait was nasty. It was. And because he had the oil on him, he got launched. And so it's even bigger combo here. Wow, yeah, you yep. Yep. always at the mercy of the bottles. Mm -hmm. If she doesn't want to interact with you, she'll just keep throwing that fire on you. Mm -hmm. It's just so hard for almost every character to, to interrupt. The ranger might have a chance since he's got very fast, very long range loot, but it's still it's still not easy. Oh, good throw bait. Wow. This right here is the reason I refuse to tech. I, I do not want to get blown up like that. No. Okay, like, Dante's got a chance here. Oh, with the opposite direction. Have the debuffs on, on no wood. We got 200 bar. Yeah. Watch out for the guard break. Ooh, yo, one of my favorite animations in the entire game. Is and DP. the bait on the DP. Okay. He he rolled, but he rolled, like, just far enough to get out of that DP range. Mm -hmm. That DP goes all the way around him. You know, there is at least one or two bullets that go behind him. Because so, her DP leaves you, like, right in front of you, so she was able to, like, get max distance on the roll. Yeah, well, that was nice. Really, really nice stuff there by Nobla. Mm. Okay, yeah, Dante was like, hey, you know what, my character... I, I'm, I got good guard breaks. I also have really good long distance options to just try and keep her away. Not. Ooh! Yep. Uh, in the throw again. Wow. I will say, uh, as far as animate. Ooh! Four of those? What? Damn. I thought that was possible. Uh, having satisfying moves to hit is the most important thing for me, like in a character. That's why Vanguard is so cool. Like it's it feels satisfying when you hit moves with them. Inquisitor is woo! Okay, he, sorry, he ran and did that jump MS, that was awesome. Honestly, oh, so has satisfying moves to hit. Like look at all these. You know, the weight of the axe, you can feel it in every attack she does. Oh, but we got the throw finally. Yep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And you're dead. Has to rep this what three times? Yep. No, nah, no. I think all you had to do is twice because she's 850. No, you're right. Ooh. Uh, that range, range on that. It's much longer than I thought it would be. Oh, well, it's one thing. Throws do have a, like very little recovery. Yeah. Often you can whiff a throw and then just throw again because uh, it is five frames and the whiff recovery is not that bad. Good throw. No yep, just throwing that fire. Yep. We ain't having that. We don't want to interact with any of your defensive options. Mm -hmm. Wow. Takes it 3-0 over Dante, ending it with a perfect. Uh, that's a phenomenal first showing at our tournament. Um, obviously, this man, yeah, is a monster, and uh, this person is a monster. Glad to have him with us here. And yeah, they. Let me see. They, I had him ranked 14 because we've never seen him before, and so that's how it works in our tournament. Uh, but wow, he's yeah, absolutely killed it. Uh, definitely a good show going up against uh, Primitive in the winner's finals. I know one thing is that he is not very happy with the Berserker matchup, but they do play a good amount. So we'll see if he has the uh, the adjustments to be able to take it. You're saying that Primi Pri uh, Primitive does not like playing Berserker against Inquisitor? Is that right? No, no. Snake does not like fighting Berserker. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. You know what? That makes sense. I imagine that her, you know, if you call out her throw in the bottle, at certain ranges, his vacuum might actually be enough. You either get vacuumed up or just the speed he gets with Frenzy, he might just be able to chase her down. True. Cool. Well, yeah, that'll be a fun, uh, fun set to watch. Uh, 
Sake, what are we looking at uh, next? All right, so we are going to go down. So that was the other side of uh, winner's side top eight. Um, mm-hmm. So now our winner's finals is going to be Primitive and Noblest Snake, but we're going to not run that just yet because we want to just ice out the winner or the loser of that. Um, so we're going down to loser side. So this is uh, loser side top eight. We're going to have Pressin Buttons and Mira Jane. Uh, and it looks like they both just got in here. Perfect. Dang. Yep, and so they'll be These in here. Two... Mm-hmm. Oh, go ahead. No, I'll say yeah. So they'll be in here. Yeah, they, they I, I told them in the Discord that they'll be here. They're like, all right, time for a show. And they're like, yep, that's the only, like, they just agreed. So should be a, <laughs> should be a good one here. Awesome. Lassie, are you back and uh, ready to, uh, to commentate? I sure am. I went 0 and 2 today, just like you, Lugia. I knew <laughs> it. As soon as you did, I was like, Frank, I'm going to go 0 and 2 as well, because I always do the exact same thing. It's our curse. It's our curse. Well, yeah, uh, Lassie. So yeah, Lassie, you and me, we'll go ahead and commentate this one, uh, especially since these two are two of the guys who took us out in today's tournament. Um, oh, dude, I was dropping. I, I dropped like three combos. It wasn't a lot, but I was like, I never dropped these. What am I doing? What's happening here? But no, buttons has also like gotten so much. Like they have improved tremendously. They're an amazing player. I love watching them playing against the two. Yeah, they are a phenomenal player. Uh, their use of frog is belligerent and also quite good. Uh, and so, also, I just noticed when Dragonite was flying, she was able to be above the frog's like fall height. And so, that is something that might be good for Mirror Gang in this matchup. Hmm. DP, very nice. What a weird interaction. Okay, but no punish there on the right. Ooh, patient, but not patient enough. Oh, there's the DP. That'll be just enough to get it for uh, pressing buttons. That DP is not great, but there are situations like that where you're like, okay, yep, I got this call out. I know exactly what I want to do. Yeah, absolutely. Putting the insignia on them, that is one of the benefits, of course, of that DP. But yep. in and of itself, Yes, yeah. We talked about this before. Ooh, yep, yeah, again, is able to jump over the frog. Not a lot of characters can do that. Uh, if you're airborne and she calls a frog on your location, uh, the frog will take you to the ground, and she can often even get, like, a, uh, a bounce combo on you. Ooh, okay. Using her air kunai, air fire kunai, I should say. Flying above the frog, like you said. Oh, I love that you can double jump after that attack. Mm-hmm. So cool to watch. I love both these characters, uh, like watching their gameplay. Good mix up. Mirror Jane's gonna get some good damage here. Asta, Asta's one of those things that just doesn't scale, similar to Berserker's back. What? I was not sure that would kill. That's crazy. They even had a DP afterwards. They had damage to spare. Mm hmm. Ooh! Yeah, this is going to be a full combo. I see a tiny bit of stuttering, but I could just be from the spectator side. It's definitely not getting in the way of these combos. Great card, can't hold oh, that with wild. Ooh. Oh, a, a rare drop from pressing buttons. Those combos are not easy, but uh, pressing buttons hits them like all the time. They're applying that pressure, but he doesn't want to deal with that pressure from the guard control immediately. Now, Virginie does have access to conversion as a given. Yeah. It's so hard to get around uh, buttons for the corner pressure. Whoa! Yo, she, she shot the frog! <laughs> One way to do it. Oh, can they get a pickup here? Oh, I, maybe they could have. I don't know the character. Oh. No! No! Oh, no! Oh. What? Uh, okay, she has like no health, but this does kill, right? 100%. It's gotta be. Pretty sure, yeah. right? She got that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Pressing buttons is guaranteed to give you a weird interaction you've never seen before, pretty much every time you watch them play. Like, they guard canceled, and then Asta, the very last hit of Asta, hit buttons. And then under uh, Mirror Jane, I believe, tried to pick up the combo, but it was just this ridiculous scramble situation, and buttons was able to come out on top. They're probably potentially the best scrambler in our whole tournament uh, because they're just ready for the weird situations that no one else is ready for. Oh, 
Oh, nice reset there. Oh, yeah, it's so hard. Those gaps are... Oh, pressing button has those gaps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tempting you to press a button. Ooh! Tempting you to roll DP, guard cancel. Wow. Oh. Yeah, it, it, it should have worked more, right? Because he almost was able to push uh, buttons all the way into Asta for like a follow-up, you know, after that follow-up. Oh no! Okay, reset. Good DP. Good DP. Last touch situation for both these players. Just throw the kunai. Yeah. Oh, and there's the DP. Good stuff. Mira Jane uses uh, their DP a lot, and it is very good. So it's a, it's a good reason uh, to use it. But reacting to jump ins all the time, even in those situations where, hey, scramble situation, I need one more hit, uh, and I think you're gonna press something. So the DP usually uh, favors them. Oh, the combo here in the corner. Great damage, and let's see what pressing buttons answer is going to be to this. Going for that take jump. Oh, they went for something tricky there. It worked out. They're not going to be able to kill, but oh, you're in such a bad place right now. Yeah, one mix up away. Wow. I didn't realize how much white health that did. The baseball bat absolutely wrecks. Yep. Yep. That was Good stuff. Solid off. Jumping over the kunai. And that fireball thing is amazing. It is such a good tool. And she can cancel in her flight afterwards, go into a second fireball. She can get a combo on you, you know, uh, very often. I will say, these are the two most, like, airborne um, airborne characters in the game. Uh, and both of them really like to use their air, you know, specials or air, yeah, air S moves or air MS moves. What? I can't got... believe did you, what? what? How did she jump over that? I, I thought it went to the top of the epic screen. I didn't even realize that you could get over it. You and me both, brother. I had no idea. This is the first time I've ever seen someone jump over it. Other than a double jump. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Okay. I, we we got to get over that one. But... Oh. Attempt at a guard cancel. Definitely not going to look out well for him. Guard cancel is not good. I would say probably... Second worst in the game besides Grappler. Grappler's is very bad. Yep. Hers does advance a tiny bit. I mean, Grappler's does barely, barely, barely. But yeah, no, they're not good. Not good guard cancel. Kunoichi's is actually pretty phenomenal. Like, her being airborne makes some counter hit situations uh, advantageous for her. Like, she doesn't get hurt as much because she's airborne. It's really cool. Ooh, there's the overhead. Good block. Wow. Is that on purpose? It doesn't matter. It works. So yes, it was on purpose. Good DP. Now we haven't seen it in this matchup yet, but oh, okay. This is going to be very, very close. I just don't think he has a meter, but he's extending it. <laughs> the sigil was able to get the kill for pressing button. Solid, solid effort. Uh, but we're still in it. 2 1. 2 1, pressing button's favor. Yeah, pressing buttons have been on a tear. They've been playing so well, and it's so great to see them playing at this level because they've improved so much. They were never bad at all. Yep. They've just gotten so much better. Yeah. No, both these players are mutiny regulars. Uh, before we even had mutiny. Back when I was doing my weekly stream, they would show up very, very often, and they'd play. And, uh, and I will say there was a time when I felt confident in beating both of them. That time is not today. Both these guys are fantastic players who, yeah, uh, absolutely whooped me in casuals nowadays. It's great to see the progress. Okay, yep, good frog summon. Dude, the mobility on these guys is kind of nuts when you get to see both of them do that. Teleport. Oh, I love that option. Great DP though. Okay. Now you have conversion kunai. Oh, that teleport's hard to react to. Just so low to the ground. 
Yeah, it is. Oh, good fire, flamethrower. I like that. Did you get the insignia though? Oh, but you're dead here. Gotta be. Yep. I was gonna say that's not a corner only combo. It is not. Okay. Yeah. Had a, I had a, a shred of doubt, a half second of, of disbelief. Misplaced, of course. Uh, Under God knows. Uh, Mirror Chain <laughs> knows their combos. Round two. No, who knows? I'm sure. Under God. Under God slash Mirror Chain. It's fine. You're wearing all this work. I know. It's tough because at this point, I've called Dragonite Under God like more than any other character to play a ratio. You know what I mean? Like, I'll just say, oh, yeah. Uh, Under God has a really good air dash. I'm like, wait, I should have said Dragonite. Oh well, you know, it's the same thing. <laughs> oh, they're just hopping around. What is this? Oh, good they, option. They are flying through the air like this is Guilty Gear Drive. <laughs> there isn't, yeah, that's true. There's an air dash in that game, not bad. Ooh. Oh, what coverage! That was sick! That was beautiful! It covered everything! I'm gonna cry, man! Oh, that was amazing! What? Yeah, so I don't know what Mirror Jane could have done. They didn't do it, whatever it was. <laughs> Hold it. Wow. Yeah, so many air options. It's great seeing, uh,. Seeing these two characters kind of exemplify the air options in the game. Look at this damage. Okay. Look at all of that damage. Oh no, you're dead. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 They comboed off the throw. Why? Why can Kudo combo off the throw? Oh my god. <laughs> she, she needs it, man. She, she needs it. it. Didn't right. you see that she only got second at World Finals? <laughs> oh, that's it's incredible. Wild. Uh, speaking of that, big shout out to B Same for making it to making it to World Finals, getting second with uh, Kanuichi as well. He's an awesome character to watch, and yeah, also a uh, member of our uh, Discord as well. So very cool to uh, have someone that we kind of sort of know uh, be on the biggest stage possible for this game. Good games to uh, both our players here, Mira and Jane, and pressing buttons. Um, great effort from both you guys. Love seeing the growth. Love seeing uh, the hype moments. We had so many in that in that set, man. That was a good time. Ugh. I have to be betting my channel points, bro. What am I doing over here? I'm getting distracted by the fun of the game. No, I haven't been betting at all today. What am I doing? I'm a terrible host. You, you gotta get your gambling fix. Come on. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> well, awesome. Okay, yeah, so uh, Sake is running some things in the background, uh, getting our next match set up. Looks like uh, Pressing Buttons and Dante Link X is who we are likely gonna have uh, on stream, which Press the Buttons did just play, but we are waiting on a match to finish up uh, on the other side of Losers, and so that's likely what we'll go with next. We not at um, Primitive and Noblest Snake? So that's the, uh, so that one is Winner's Finals, and so oh, the winner oh, of that you. won't play until Grand's, and the loser of that won't play until Losers Finals, so I'd hate to like have them play and then just have all this time of, of to just ice each other out, you know what I mean? Uh, right. And so they're they're getting iced out now instead, <laughs> is yeah. what, what what we're going with here. But yeah, so we'll get uh because we've got uh who's running in the background. So uh, Kevin Bachoy and Danny Phantom are running their set now. Winner of that will play Skinny Boy Jose, um, which we okay. might run that one off stream just to help everything uh, catch back up. But yeah, so we'll have Dante Link X coming in up against pressing buttons here. Oh, and they're already in the lobby. Okay, sweet. And yeah, so it is the, the double feature here for pressing buttons, but we haven't seen them <clears throat> in the last couple weeks. So you know what? They, they, you get to be on TV. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, Lassie and Alpaca, would you care to take this one? Of course, of course. Awesome. Yep, I'll commentate with my bro any day, especially if I get to commentate pressing buttons because I love this man. I love, I love watching his Kuno. His Kuno is wild. Uh, I love it. So many frogs coming from the sky. <laughs> so many frogs. Yeah, and Monte Link is, of course, a phenomenal ranger player. Uh, I haven't gotten to fight them very many times. Hopefully, I can keep fighting them more, but you know, I got to real quick. 
So one thing that's important against Kunoichi is if she's doing a block string and she wants to go, man, DP's everywhere. Uh, if she wants to go into the frog, you have to interrupt that. It's free pressure, otherwise, I don't know if Ranger can reliably. I think so either. Oh, good card, guard missile there. More hits. I am so good. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Stagger, stagger. Push him away, I respect this. And a good DP. My buttons jumped a little high there, so that was that was something Dante definitely could react to the next one he did. Oh, and another DP is everywhere, and they are working out. Oh yeah, no, no they, they ain't gonna have none of it. Uh, that, if that picked up, that'd have been insane. I thought that was gonna be so insane. Oh, Boston Jackson is out of the point. Hit with the seal. And now we're back in the tornado. That's, oh man, that's crazy. I did not expect that. Uh, yeah, no, I know. It's also risky to do it in the tornado, too. Oh, Good bait on the DP. Oh, anyway. oh, what a bummer. That's so sad. Oh, my Dante, every single defensive option they made pretty much worked um, when they needed it. Yep, let's see if pressure can make some adjustments here. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Pressure them a little more because they got them down to near awakening. I think both rounds just couldn't close it out. Another DP. DCP. Oh, you're gonna combo off of that, aren't you? Yes, you are. Kunai conversion is insane. Mm hmm, the Kuno classic. <laughs> and that pressure is using the frog. Not gonna be able to guard Kinsley at just the right time. Dante is picking a moment perfectly. No way. Oh, what a. What a read! Oh my that god! That anti-air, Jesus Christ! Why is that anti-air? That's insane. I uh, couldn't get the full punish on that. It is a bit harder to punish just the fireball, but surprising it dropped out of the five M like that. Very surprising. Taking their turn back. I like that. Good start, Kim. And he knows that uh, that Preston wants to teleport, but we DP the slide. Frog Gaiman, stagger. No you can't shoot the frog, but oh wow, oh. he ran into that. Bit longer. This is interesting. This is kind of feels like two quick games, but they come down to pretty much a last hit situation every single time. just needs to adjust just a little bit more, be able to take it. He's got to close it out. Oh, what a trade. Up for a second, the Kuna now we're going to catch the back dash. Oh, did you whip that throw on purpose to face something? Because you were really far. There's no way. I believe it. Preston's got these frog setups on deck. Like I said, he just needs to close it out. No meter, though. You do not want to get this situation. I'm thinking you here doesn't have the meter. And not quite. Trying to bait a DP, but Dante's just not gonna fall for it. That's huge. That's a frog up. One more time. There oh, we go. Round two. Fight. Picking around, staying alive. 
Hits him with those Kuno buttons. Oh, that was interesting. I don't know if that's what they meant to do, uh, but it did work out for him. It's so smart. Yeah, it's so smart. Great stuff to avoid that frog and just not deal with it. Oh, no. Oh, you're in a bad place right now. You can't kill. Yeah. Yep, straight shot right into the awakening. Now Dante just needs one more round. Round three. Dip set point and I think this is top eight right now, so the next winner goes on. Oh uh, yeah, that that was not a drop. That was a setup. <laughs> oh, The range on that, I did not think, oh, you're dead. Just like that, you're dead. Dante's gonna take it pretty good. I think that was more of the definition of it was 3-0, but it was close. Every, every round. It's fair, I shouldn't say convincingly, you're very right. That kind of, that was one of those situations where every single game, pretty much the last time situation, just pressing buttons, was never able to finish it off just quite. Awesome. All right. And so that uh, clears that from there. So we're actually going to head back on over to our winner side matches. So let me get um, first once it's live on Twitch, I'll get these channel points out to everybody. And then we're going to be having uh, Primitive and Noblest Snake in here uh, for winners finals, which I think is going to be crazy. It'll be it'll be super fun. That's Noblest has had an awesome run, you know, through so far. And we'll see if they can keep it going on through Primitive. Uh, but yeah, so we just let them know, so they should be getting in here soon. Let me get these channel point predictions out. Dante was the winner of that, so moving on. So Dante will be moving on uh, to play the winner of Skinny Boy Jose and Kevin Vitoy. Um, Kevin Vitoy's on a bit of a run. I think they went to losers round one and have made it now into top five, at least. Uh, so yeah, definitely have a a run going on here yeah so let's see yeah so so far the way our top four is shaping out is primitive uh primitive and nobilis snake and then dante link x and then yeah then again the winner of skinny boy jose and kevin bitoy so let's just get these in we've got primitive here in the lobby perfect now we just need nobly snake in and then we should be good to go so again let me get these channel point bets up and ready for everyone they'll be live um, once we get into the round here Noblest Snake I don't know if I've seen them before who do they play? Um, Inquisitor. Inquisitor Inquisitor so they're Inquisitor. A, a Deity 20 Inquisitor uh, Lord <laughs> yeah and so they've been out they've been making they, so their route I, I don't know if you're hearing me talk about it earlier so they um, where did they start? Normally Snake. Okay, so took it 3-1 over Coffee, 3-0 over Anju, 3-0 over Dante, and are now here up against a Primitive. So, a uh, hell of a run so far for their first week here in Mutiny. Um, yeah, it's, it seems like they, they joined Mutiny and there's a lot of other players who knew who they were, like, knew them, knew how good of a, of a Inquisitor they were. Um, yeah, so that's, I've seen nothing, like, they've been talking in chat for, like, 
like since no was on stream just about how how sick they are and then now they're all getting uh connected and together to get some more sets in but yeah last year this is gonna be a treat uh it was a lot of fun to watch inquisitor's last set uh, uh Noblis's last set because yeah inquisitor's just character we don't get to see that often in tournament and yeah Noblis has a terrifying terrifying uh inquisitor so i'm pumped to see it very very pumped to see it Cool. Definitely makes yeah. you sit still. Yes. <laughs> no, and and after that new balance patch, you know, her able to cancel her her oil throw at the very least, her oil throw into like her you know advancing launcher. That is so scary. Like the mind games are going to be even greater with this character. So people like Noblis are just, I'm sure, cannot wait to explore her new options. Yeah, that's exciting. Primitive versus Noblis. Uh, I know Apaka mentioned that uh, Noblis does not fight, not not like fighting against Berserker, and here they have to fight against one of the best Berserkers. Obviously, Primitive, uh, Primitive DD14 plays this game a hell of a lot. And I'll let you guys come in this one because I can't leave Alpaca out of a Berserker match. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. You guys can feel free to uh, make your predictions on the Twitch chat. Uh, ooh, okay, I, I got more points than I thought I did. Uh, I'll be making my own predictions here on Primitive or Noblest to take this set. Oh, wow. That 2A from Primitive was so brave. <gasps> ooh, the vacuum doesn't come out in time to get stuffed by the jump in the track. Uh-oh. Some good combo damage here in the corner. So he's gonna put Berserker into Awakening, so the long combos are pretty much done. Now he's just stuck. Berserker doesn't have too many ways out of this corner. Yeah. And he's draining. Draining because he's in Frenzy. Yep, he activated his Frenzy. Ooh, that's huge. That's it. Oh Bet it all. Lord, yep. No, uh, week two, week two of this game, I was playing against an Inquisitor, and then, you know, they did their DP, and I was like, that's that's the best DP in the game. And he's like, I disagree. And I was like, no, no, visually. Visually, that's the best DP. <laughs> like, oh, okay, that's what yeah. matters. That's what matters. Very yeah. fast, correct, yeah. Oh, that's true. It's not the worst, that's for sure. Nowhere near the worst. The guard cancel. I love, uh, I've seen Noblis do this a bunch of times where he does that command dash. Um, does it go for a grab or for like a follow up? I said, you know, it's baiting out uh, a grab tech, baiting out of actually a number of different options that he probably could go for. That's, wow, that, his life just disappeared. I did not realize that he had taken that much damage. Yeah, he utilizes the jump uh, C, I think that is. So the jump mm -hmm. S, the big X wing up above, because that has really good range. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really good move. Ooh. Good stuff there by Primitive. It's going to be some good damage. Going into a mix up, I'm sure. I don't think he's going to try to kill. I don't. But he might be able to. Yeah. He might be able yeah, to. Yeah, he gets yeah. a vacuum here. Yep. Vacuum. That's all he needs. Yeah, she's got yep. no health, so. Fair call, fair call. And you get touched once. I mean, having 850 health against Berserker is really scary. Yeah. It means our yeah. health's virtually just 650. He's always no. getting that super. Very fair. And yeah, you hear that from uh, one of the Berserker pros himself, so you know it's the case. Because yeah, the ability that Berserker has to get their Awakening out so often is incredible. It's a great, great tool for the character. Woo, good guard cancel. Simple Berserker pressure, going for a guard break. Do you think this is death, Primitive? Oh, this is this is hell with that. He's got these. As long as he's got these. Yeah, he's got these. No, uh -oh. he didn't have it. Woo! 
They didn't have no. it, but we made it. We don't Our need kid. to have it if we got the baits. <laughs> Sorry if I called you primitive, my bad. I was no, no, yeah. <laughs> Watching the man play and trying to talk. Oh, to I get it. All, all us berserkers look the same. I understand. <laughs> oh, that's a huge vacuum to start things off. Oh, wow. I wonder why that dropped. Ooh. Yeah, that was a good bait and a good conversion to stay safe too. Yeah. So, uh, what options does Berserker have to interrupt for pulling out the flame wheel? Because I feel like his buttons might be fast and long range enough. Yeah, no, 5B interrupts it. 5B and 2B both interrupt it. Okay. All right. So you just have to be wary of it because she could throw the fire. If she throws the fire, then uh, they're gonna burn. Yeah. No, that. I also realized that was the mix-up. That became one of the hardest issues because Vanguard has long-range enough buttons to take care of that. But if you throw out a button, you get got by the fireball. So you always have to guess, and it's very dangerous to guess. Good damage here in the corner. Oh, wow. Here we go. Well, luckily, he's not dead. Primitive is low enough in health that he cannot kill. But we're gonna get Oki, and we're gonna get, uh... Oh, we tried. Ooh. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Plus frame, the guard cancel. Oh! That's an incredible option. Instant air, MS. It's, ba it's basically a DP. She yeah, basically no. has two DPs. I was thinking that, that's why I, I would have compared it to because the, it comes out so fast and it, it plus frames as well on block. I mean, that's that's a great and and, uh, and it avoid lows like mm -hmm. you saw there went right over 2A. I would trade Vanguard's DP as is for that move <laughs> in a hundred years <laughs> easily. <laughs> oh, I, I think every Vanguard's on board with that. <laughs> Okay, there's no invincibility on it. That move is, uh, yeah, that serves better than Vanguard TP does. Okay. Willing down the guard. Uh, Tried. Guard a little bit. He got a lot of white health out of him by the conversion, but he's back in the blender. Now, he is an awakening already. Oh, again! Wow. Two A's becoming a liability for Primitive. Yeah. No, nope, that's fair. So yeah, I, I think I know the answer to this, but if you wouldn't mind just verifying. When Al Berserker is already in Awakening, uh, his combo options are more limited than when he's out of Awakening. Is that right? Because he doesn't have yeah. access to conversion as he did. Correct. Okay. Yep. Ooh! Oh, the reset. so hard because when you are getting got by these huge combos there's a temptation to just turn your brain off right it's mental fatigue uh oh okay. no oh, you don't have those. those he doesn't have... it's okay it's okay it's a hard link now we're stuck in the fire because this is what she's gonna do she has a lot of mana to work with it's a hard link but i felt like there was still more stuff to get a gone for oh the dp that was a good That's dp he what he wasn't in Awakening. He needed to super in order to kill. Right, right, right. <gasps> Ooh, that's going to be a piece of punish here. Oh, the Oh, cross up overhead. Oh, that's nasty. That, like, his leg that isn't trying to kick you is the one that kicks you with that overhead. Mm -hmm. you know? He's got big thighs. <laughs> They got the gore cross Ooh. trying to go for vacuum. That fire just avoiding uh, the vacuum Ooh. on that, but we're betting it all on that DP. Yeah, that's happened a couple times now. Where the DP comes out and it gets blocked and it gets just absolutely blown up by Primitive. Two one in the favor of Primitive and they're going on try to make it into grand finals. Good Ooh. DP. 
I didn't realize how few recovery frames there are on Berserker's uh, 5D. That thing actually didn't recover much at all. He was able to block uh, off that air attack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, his, his B buttons aren't that, like, laggy. Except maybe 2B, but that's just because of active frames. Right. Oh, we spent it, because we're gonna kill. Yep. We're extended it. Here. Bam. Yep. I'm curious if that is something that might end up changing after the patch. It's some of the scaling when it comes to... There's a couple moves in the game where, like... The scaling compared to other moves, like, it just isn't as like, like the vacuum, you know what I mean? Like, that vacuum gets a ridiculous amount of damage, no matter where it's at in the combo. And, like, uh, from a boss moves uh, follow-up for Dragonite, those also do. Yeah, yeah, the they game. do. I w wonder if it's technically a bug or not. I guess we'll find out. Mm -hmm. I I'm all good with the character having huge damage. I just, you know, you're like, oh, there's a lot of combo scaling. You're going to see the vacuum hit, and then you're kind of surprised, you know, by how much damage that individual move does. I guess we're game. Oh. Oh. Yeah, primitive, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, that's that's GG. Primitive, as long as the combo finishes, he's gonna be on his way to winner's side of grand finals. Wow. Doesn't even need to use the awakening. Incredible. Oh. For, for all those watching at home, Alpaca, my man, said, guess for game at 50% HP. Just, that's that's the video game that we are playing today. <laughs> it is, hey, guess for game. Oh, 50% health. <laughs> but. but all right. A measly 2A, too. He's yeah. just. <laughs> yeah. And man's going to kill you. Yeah. Guess for game off of my light <laughs> with half of your life still here. But that is primitive taking it. 3-1 uh, moving on to winner side of grand finals. So now coming up, we've got Kevin Bitoy and Dante Link X. Um, Kevin Bitoy's been on a tear. Uh, so again, so I think we talked about him before. So they lost round one to Primitive 3-0 and then beat Darth Lugia 3-2, Anji Peng 3-1, Danny Phantom 3-2, and Skinny Boy Jose 3-2. No way! Yeah, oh. and, and so they made it from losing round one to top four. Um, That's incredible. So they on on quite a quite a journey tonight. So yeah, they they've been going. So we've got uh, yeah. So Dante Dante is already in here. Yeah. So let me get these channel points out for everyone. We'll get these new predictions coming up. So that was primitive taking it. Awesome. And hey, did I get my points for that prediction, uh, Sake? I I just sent it out to you. Okay. Thank you. So yeah, so they are there. Or lose my points. You don't or, know. Or lose. I didn't, I, I didn't even see. I just clicked the winner, if I'm being real. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot who voted on who. It's um, and, and Kevin. Kevin. Awesome. Bid. Well, yeah. I'm pumped they are uh, a Hitman player, right? Uh, yes. Yep. They being um, a, uh, Kevin. Okay, yep. yeah, okay. Yeah, Kevin Batoy is a Hitman player. I think Deity 60, uh, if I remember correctly. Um, as soon as I saw Deity 60, I was like, oh, gosh. Um, and yeah, no, they played very, very well. I, I do want to point out, too, three twos and three ones. You know, like, yeah, three two against myself, uh, three one against Andrew, but then a three two against Danny Phantom, and then a three two against Skinny Boy Jose. Like, this man has grinded for these wins. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And that is that shows a lot of mental toughness, being able to get the clutch clutch wins in the final situations in each of these sets. Yeah, again, we talk about how there's no no easy routes um, through this, right? No easy, and like, and Kevin got a hard route and has fought almost every game of it, right? Like, like had one one three zero got three zero by primitive, and then yeah, three two three one three two three one three two, right? Like. That's they've been they've been grinding in the matches tonight. And you said that they are a Hitman player as well. So is this a Hitman mirror or am I mixing up my characters? No, this will be Hitman versus uh, Ranger. Ranger, Donald that's the Play. one. Yep, yep, yep. I Ranger. was like, I know, yeah. I know, I'm incorrect, but I can't remember the other one's name. Uh, but yeah, all right. So here we are. This is Losers Semi. So winner of this will play Noblest Snake for a shot against Primitive in Grand Finals. But yeah, these predictions are live for everybody. And let's go Perfect. ahead and get into it then. 
I'm going to let you two deal with the, uh, this Hitman guy. <laughs> Him and his awakening combos. You guys have fun commentating that. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Lassie. You good? Absolutely. I'm so ready to get hyped off of DP in Super. It doesn't make me yawn one bit. So excited. I'm sad. I am sad because, like, ooh, the fact that his entire character plan changes once he does go into Awakening, I was like, oh, that's really cool. It's really creative. It is unfortunate that the optimal stuff is, like, exactly the same. You know what I mean? Like, you just see the same thing over and over again. However, uh, Kevin did have some really cool uh, mix-up and in instant overheads that he was able to utilize on me, at least. I imagine the rest of his matchups. <gasps> That could be a weakness, though. He did guard cancel as often as he possibly could, and so that might be something that Dante could take advantage of. Great round there, starting out with Dante. Just keeping him in this corner exactly what he wants to be a great player. Good roll, though. Ooh, good pickup. Just in the short time I did play against Kevin briefly beforehand mm -hmm. uh, for our the turning, and they are ready for their conversion. Yes, no, they have these practice down to a T. And see this right here? These are cool combos. You know, we, we made fun of the awakening stuff. That this stuff right there is pretty cool to see. I love kind of the, the style. Ooh, there's a DP at least. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know if you go to punish that. Uh oh, but here we go. This is where Dante wants you. There's the buff, the boost box. Yeah, but you can't DP from across the screen. Nope. Oh, that's gonna kill! Oh, just raw super after guard break. Oh, man. That was a really, really solid uh, preparedness, I guess, from Dante. He's like, hey, this is gonna guard break, and I'll immediately be able to go into my super. Good stuff. Both these characters have essentially, essentially full screen supers. Uh, in fact, uh, Kevin actually used his super to like whiff punish me, and I was like, "You can do that!" Like I, I forgot that this character actually has a good super, just uh, not outside. Uh, has a good super outside of his combo game. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I look at Hitman's super, and I what I would expect Vanguard to be stabbing forward with his super. You know? Yeah, there might have been a little mix up. In the uh, in the design, and then they just never fixed it. It's very positive. And then they just change the color. <laughs> you know, to green instead of like yellow or. Ooh. Good tech. Uh oh, here we go. Yep, has to hold it. Has to hold all this. Sure, it's gonna get hard broken. Oh, not quite. Oh. Never mind. <gasps> no. I can't believe that worked. I thought that he did not, I didn't think that he rolled in time, you know what I mean, to get around that move, but that roll was absolutely perfect. Good guard cancel. And Kevin, ooh, and look at this pickup. Got a ton of damage, but still a little bit of extra damage that I was not anticipating he would get. Got him in a corner, and gets thrown himself. Boy, is just gonna keep him there. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, what? I missed yeah. it all. That's fair. That's good. That's great. Yes. Yes. Definitely. The best. <laughs> I didn't realize that his guard gets a little behind him. Not biased at all. <laughs> in any way. That's wild. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is he. He stayed. Gosh, I can't believe he didn't punish it. Yeah. No, this is a bad place for him. He does have 200 meter, but Dante's running in still. Oh, that's an instant overhead to give you the win right here. <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not, you... Kevin, I want you to know that you're an amazing player. I, I, I'm not trashing you as a player. <laughs> Anyway, shape anyway, you know, I'm just, you know. It's funny. I'm not. Uh, I'm not used to hearing uh, Lassie be quite this um, sarcastic <laughs> when it comes to the character. Hitman, Hitman gives me Leroy Smith PTSD for a second. Gotcha. Like just, just with how. Oh, I don't know how to get into it. Let's go back to the game. <laughs>
like, Asterix complains in Grappler, Asterix. Blast his comp. Oh, here we go. Yeah, no meter for either of these guys, however, Dante will start to build it back up. Ooh, able to block below, very nice. Oh, these tiny little gaps that Kevin is putting into his, uh, in his strings are so tempting. Oh, there's a grab that gets destroyed by the overhead. Yeah, good stuff here by Kevin. I will say this is one of the few matchups where Vanguard's DP actually did serve me pretty well because the instant overhead stuff is still a hard call out and other DPs would have worked. However, I was like, my DP works, hooray! You know, it was just a about, uh, happy surprise. Woo! Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Much of a safe jump, and Dante is ready for it. Yep. Now Dante has awakening. He also has the debuff. Uh, now Kevin is in awakening, but his meter is still pretty low, so he's not going to get a ton. Uh, well, now it's already back up to my oh. 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 <laughs> it's amazing. I thought he had it. Not wow. Yeah, yeah, like 90, 95, something like that. It's like troubleshooters uh, get on fire. It's not quite full screen, you know. Um, but it's close, it's close. It's like Vanguard's awakening move. It's not quite full screen, but it's close. <laughs> yes, yes, Vanguard's near full screen. Yeah. Maybe it only takes about, um, you know, 2% of the screen as opposed to 100% of the screen. So maybe the closest in the opposite direction. Uh, good roll there from Kevin. Good roll again by Kevin. He really wants to get closer. Oh. It's crazy just how much guard damage just those 2D and 5D bullets do. <gasps> Interesting. Great. Wow. Definitely coming out on top here for Dante. Now, Kevin is in Awakening, and so the man could kill off of near anything here. Nice. Good super. I'm sorry. Good, good crash. I got super on the brain, bro. Can you tell? Yeah, that was good stuff. Okay, Dante. 2-1? 2-1, 2-1. Okay. Yes, 2-1. Throwing out the grenade. And there's a guard cancel. Oh, that guard cancel is so flush. I can't remember how much. I think that it's funny. Mm. Or, you know. No, it's a really, really good tool. And often, as soon as he guard cancels, Kevin just starts sprinting at you. As he should. Yeah. Oh, DP. No follow ups yet. He's not an awakening. Is this going to be the kill? That'll be the kill. That was such a good call out with the anti air. That was exactly what he needed. Good stuff. Ooh, roll forward, but no punish. Under God throwing many man shade in the chat as well. See, it's not just me. I'm not the only bad person here. <laughs> oh, what a great DP. That was the right option. See, boss dude. Uh, well, I'm used to boss dude being a little fully, you know, so <laughs> I can't, can't be surprised with that. Ooh, okay. Boom. It sucks because that move looks so cool. You know, the green, red, blue coming out of his body looks amazing. It's just, yeah, it's the same thing pretty often. Oh, is it close oh, enough? Yeah! Wow, that was so good! That was so good. He was ready. He was waiting for it. He was just waiting for that moment. Yeah, not quite enough to get the kill. I thought it was gonna... I guess Ranger I... does have kind of average HP. Right. Oh, yeah. Good stuff there by Dante. Oh, that's heartbreaking. I, I did think that was I, I thought that it was going to be close. I, I, I uh, didn't quite think he did it. But I have no idea what the supers do, like, base damage. Is it like 400 or 350 or something? If they're not in the middle of a combo? 
A 400 raw. Okay, cool. You should, you know, since you use yours raw all the time. All the time. <laughs> yeah, Kevin getting opened up here. He's gonna look to guard cancel as soon as he, I, I imagine, as soon as he blocks something else. Yep, there it is. Gotta hold this pressure. Oh, conversion. Feels nice, yeah. Ooh, conversion in the middle. I like that. I like that a lot. I don't think I had seen that like that. Oh, I forgot that to stay. You just put him back in the corner. That is some. Okay, I have some issues now. <laughs> it's these little interactions that are getting it for me. I, mean, I, I lost the character earlier. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Just a little bit too far. Yes. Kevin. Real bad spot there. You know, this is one of those where as good as Hitman is, you have to, you have to say that Ranger does give Hitman just because yeah, his toolkit nullify a lot of what Hitman likes to do. A lot of zoners can, uh, and you can't deny that. Yeah, for sure. Well, and even uh, when up close, you know, the instant overheads that uh, Hitman might go for, um, Ranger's DP does go like all around his body. And so, um, you know, a one or two bullets will likely hit you out of those instant overheads, whereas some other DPs, you know, yeah, might whiff or just might not work uh, necessarily in that situation. And so, like, yeah, I, I feel like uh, Ranger being able to keep you far away, but then even when you are up close, does have some decent options uh, to deal with Hitman's pressure. And yeah, Dante was able to secure the victory and is moving on into Losers Finals against Noblesse Snake. Good stuff. You know, you mentioned Basu's trolling here, and I, <laughs> I have to point out that uh, Luan saying Berserker on PS4 is top three. You know, of course, because it's harder to block instant overheads and things like that with the slight delay. Basu uh, saying Nah, nah, nah. Top four. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong. He's not top three. <laughs> That's incredible. I love that. Um, Basu cracks me up. He's my favorite. Just, I, I love it. I love, I love his personality. Yeah, no, I, I love that guy. Uh, been involved with the channel from the beginning. And then, yeah, just excited to uh, have him around anytime we get the chance to. He got downplay for buffs. You're going to get, we're all getting buffs, bro. We're all getting buffs. Bro. Ooh, ooh. Lassie, if you and I want to take this one again so that Alpaca can get grand finals with the, uh, you know, with the Berserker, then we can do that. That sounds great. Cool. This is exciting. Gosh, we have not seen very many Berserkers, and as much as I hate playing against the Berserker, I enjoy seeing the Berserker. Yeah, nope, same here. Cool color, too, with his pink hair and, like, the purple gown, purple skirt. I actually think it's a really cool color combo. I'd love to see more colors added to this game. That'd just be a fun cosmetic update. She's one mix up away from the kill, especially with the throw. There it is. Oh, that was such a good roll. Yeah. The throw. Good stuff. Round two. Yo, that was bold. I don't know if they read what Dante had done for round start before, but that was a huge call out. Not that much damage. But she is stuck in some of the pressure. <gasps> oh, Never mind. What? Great option, they knew exactly what to do there. That covers pretty much everything. Yeah, that was awesome. And stealing the life lead right back. Ooh, good roll, but no punish afterwards. Oh my god! Are you serious? What? It was so good. It was amazing. Oh, and is this. Not quite. Not quite. Wow. She's fast. Uh, Alpaca called this out earlier. This chick is fast. She is quick. She is ready to spread the wrath of God as quick as possible. Her <laughs> she should take her book and just like place it open faced on the knocked out faces of anyone that she defeats. You know what I mean? I'd love to see that as like her outro animation to say, hey, you should read up. Okay, here we go. Bam. Is she going to get three of these or four? We did see a four combo earlier, but only three in the same. That's good damage. Inquisitor is not really known for her damage up So, uh, Noblis Snake is doing a good job of countering that one. Yeah, she's one of those characters that's designed to open you up often, you know? 
and then, yeah, Woo! kill you with three to five combos, as opposed to, you know, Berserker or Striker with two. Um, or last, or, uh, last, <laughs> Grappler sometimes with two That is such a good option. He's doing that so consistently. Oh, no, okay, not a big one. Wow, your guard gauge, what happened? Where'd it go? Yeah. Well, and she's got a lower guard gauge as well. I mean, that, I think that kind of comes with a lot of characters have a lower, uh, lower life. Plus, I just made that up. I assume she's got a lower guard gauge. Oh, no, the, the guard gauge is based on yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And that move just means, oh, so good. Not plus, but you can't take your turn after you take your water. Nope, okay, yep, you're right, it is not plus. I, uh, I'm just used to Inquisitors using conversion right afterwards, when I was like, oh, now I can move, and then they use conversion, and I, that's how I got in my head that, oh, I can't challenge this move. Uh, but you're right, it is not plus. Snake doing a great job for Yeah, good guard cancel there. Very difficult to know when to guard cancel against the Twister, but Dante's going to do it very well there. Nope. I, I I want to tell him to stop, but I don't know. Just throwing the gun hawk out there, gun carousel, you know, maybe. It's one of those. He's a oh. relatively safe option for us. Oh, another what? One. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, no. Wow. Snake is making all the right reads. Yeah, that is incredible stuff. Mm -hmm. Using yeah. conversion to keep it safe. Oh no! Might have. Yeah, might have had a chance to punish it, or even uh, run up and grab. Yeah, they wouldn't have expe expected that. But God, there's a lot of grab from the snake. Interrupted this time by Dante. Yeah, that was a good challenge there. Push her into a grenade, yeah. Yeah, her guard gauge already down to half. Look at this thing. Oh, no. Do it again. Do it again. Why not? Are you dead? I'm... Look at all the fire ticket. Yeah, because of the oil. Because uh, they put on the oil and then did, you know, one of the fire MS moves. Uh, there's a whole extra, you know, animation. There's a whole extra uh, thing that happens, right? It, you, you take more damage, you get different combo extensions. And that was enough uh, to get the game for Noblis. Good stuff there. So, yeah, Noblis is going to advance ba uh, back up into Grand Finals. And we are looking at Primitive versus Noblis. Let's see who takes Mutiny Week number 10. Never seen so many JMs, man. That, that move was everywhere. Great. It's a great move. We have a pack of, uh, you know, after seeing winners finals, right? Permit taking it 3 1. Uh, how do you think this, uh, this grand finals is going to go? Uh, unless Snake can make some adjustments, uh, I think Prim's going to take it. Uh, probably the same score, 3 1. That would have what I'm going to bet my 1.9 thousand mo uh, points, channel points on. But, okay. uh, I know, I guess I know where I'm betting against them. Let's see here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's not a bad call. Yeah, Lassie, what are you thinking going into this grand finals? Uh, well, if, um, S Snake plays like that. And they have a very good chance of resetting the bracket because that was, that was incredibly solid play. I mean, they made every right read, basically. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Awesome. Let me just ping Primitive here. Uh, they did reach out to me and said they had to move around their setup a little bit, you know, just to um, take care of a few things at home. And so let me just ping them here. Um, Basu uh, telling Primitive to play Grappler. I would pay to see it. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'd absolutely pay to see that one, man. That'd be awesome. Well, hey, if uh, Sake, if those guys are going to be just a second, if we want to do a quick little, uh, you know, we can do our cameras, we can talk about some of our announcements that we have coming up for the tournament. Primitive did just enter. So maybe we can hold that off until we actually uh, end the tournament. I think that might be better. 
I had I had I had me a little faith, primitive. I apologize. Nah, he's quick. He's in there. He's about as fast as Inquisitor. That's right. Well, cool. Lassie and Alpaca, do you guys want to finish off uh, the night tonight? Yeah, let's Ab go. Absolutely. If there's a reset, I call. I call. Take it over <laughs> for the reset. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. You can. Uh, if there's a reset, I'll back out. So you know. Way. I don't know where I was going with that sentence. <laughs> Hmm. We're going right back to the same exact stage. Oh, that's uh, there. Very much. Oh, missed the overhead on that one. I know he sniped him with that last set. And the extended hurt box on Gorkross makes me sad. You saw him stick his arm out into the fire. Oh, what a challenge. That was so great. Oh yeah, he's very dead. 100%. He's very dead. Oh my brain. Oh. Yep. Blood Majin coming in. I mean, you know, before. Wow. Just to point out that Alpaca had to teach me. Yeah, he's dead here. Oh yes, he's dead here as well. <laughs> <laughs> But we got we got a lot of bar now. We're gonna keep throwing this fire. Might as well. Take it too close, yeah. This is a great position for Snake. They're an awakening, but they have so much health to work with. Mm -hmm. Fall back. What a uh -oh. weird oh no. GG. <laughs> I'm sorry. Everyone in the chat is probably like, Lad, you be a little more interesting. Fog. Yep. So, sorry, they both went for a dive. And then, you know, Inquisitor is hit. But then, Inquisitor, <laughs> Nobus tried to go into the wheel and that completely missed. That was just such a weird interaction. It was so interesting. I was surprised he didn't have any white life to convert that either. He must have just gained it all back. Oh, good throw there. Okay. He's just gonna have to let that go. They lost that game. Absolutely good player. He had such a great showing in the last game. He's gonna do the same exact game. Down with the plus. Tried the overhead, but was a little too quick. Our gauge is bleeding. Oh no, now you're just bleeding. Are you serious? Oh. 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 Made a paper. Made a paper. <laughs> Send it to Sejam. Will this kill Alpaca? Oh yeah, they did. I love how Very. joyful you are when you say that. I'm like, this doesn't kill, right? Oh no, yeah, they're dead. Very dead, yo. <laughs> Like, it's good, don't get me wrong, but the Inquisitor's Oki afterwards is a little iffy, though. See, he's got to either run up and fire or run up and either bait throw or not. So it's not as reliable as, say, Berserker's Oki afterwards. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, that is one of the Inquisitor's weaknesses. She doesn't really do much guard damage. Um, unless she can set up a bunch of wheels. Um, she doesn't really have any focus. Oh, there's no mix-up. Oh, that's a great back dash. Oh my gosh! Oh, good bait on that. That was so good. He actually could have gotten a much better punish than a counselor in the fire, but you know, take what you can get. Oh my god, that was sick. That was such a good call. Oh, yeah, yeah, he should be dead. Yep. Evens it up. 1-1. One, one. Showing he's got life in him. Give me that reset. I just want more games, so I'm, I'm down for a reset. I, I'm very excited to see the Inquisitor play more. You don't get to see it very often. You don't get to see Berserker very often either. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm full of so much sad today, guys. I do apologize. It's late. I had to hit the gym at 5 a.m. I'm, I'm tired. The gym ill. Good. Health improvement. This will be all there. We've all seen the loops enough times, we know. And primitive is, you know, as as bad as my commentary is right now, Primitive is playing this matchup so, so well. Um, obviously, they've played against Inquisitor quite a bit. Wow, it hopped over 5B. That was actually surprising. Put the wheel out and trying to bait the guard cancel. Primitive just holding his ground. Yeah. Good score from uh, yeah, just run up. Oh, oh that was nasty. dirty. That was a good. That is his scariest mix-up. That is it is so hard to see. Good, yeah. That was a great option. Okay, well Turker did Bend it all. Yeah, and Berserker bled himself dry. Oh, he had so much health before that conversation. I wonder what that was. Fear like good block. Uh, we're just holding down back. We ain't, we ain't run, risking nothing right now. Ooh, good Ooh. interrupt. Scary. Oh yeah, those, those buttons for Inquisitor are very awkward because for follow-up, it's actually a shorter range for 5B. Using that zero on block 5A. Oh, he got him! He got him! Yeah, Berserker, you know, they don't have awful... I, I know Berserkers say they have an awful guard cancel. It is bad. It's bad rivaling on awful, but it is bad. It is bad. It is not great. But it's just hard for me as a grappler to hear Berserkers be like, Oh, my guard cancel sucks! <laughs> No, he definitely is below average. No Pokey there, but we've eaten the DP. It's okay. Yep, the Berserker's DP is not that good. No, it is not. No, he definitely is definitely subpar. Oh, wow. Speaking of subpar, there's the subpar guard cancel. Got him. He's dead. Snake has burned this around. Oh yeah, he's running this back. It's sweet. Grim does have a set, but he needs to clean it up. Oh, here's the counter hit. Ready for it. 
this Gornis right here. It's, this does look like a, a tough thing for the Berserker to deal with when you're not in the uh, box. Yup. Uh-oh. Oh, that is all. Oh, I'm pretty sure she's going to kill here. Yeah, it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be close. No. But the throw will, and we gotta reset. So fast. Wow. Okay. That was looking really rough, and then just like that, we have a reset. Oh, they are All right, Lugia. jumping Lugia. right into it. Yeah. Lugia, jump in. I'm going off. Going away. Feel free to chime in whenever you see something hype, though. Feel free. After they come back. To Oh my goodness, uh, that's insane. So yeah, it's reset 0-0 zero, zero, because everyone is aware. Uh, we did get that first win on the side of Noblesse. This is going to be, what, 50% damage? Oh, uh, yep. Uh, wow! Oh my god. Potentially the other 50 right here. I mean, oh, out of meter, I guess, so. Yeah. But... Oh. Now again, yeah, Primitive needs, what, one combo, most likely? Well, uh, two. He will need yeah. two. Yeah, especially now. No conversion to make anything safe, either, so... Oh, yeah. the trade! Wow, just a straight-up trade. Okay, yeah, it's been uh, working wonders for him. Yeah, I, I am kind of uh, surprised that Primitive just went directly back in because Noblis has so much momentum. I would have taken a second. I would have taken this mm -hmm. to it to myself. I agree. Yeah. Oh, let you guys know, you can uh, now predict again. Since it is a reset, this is a new set to bet on. So feel free to bet your channel points uh, accordingly. Oh, that's a beta guard cancel. Yeah, that was... That was a read. That, that was 100% a read. He knew that was going to happen. I feel like Berserker is one of the best characters at baiting out guard cancel. I see it from them very often. Because conversion, you can throw out something, convert, make yourself, you know, safe mm -hmm. enough to block. And, yeah. In theory, you can do it on reaction, so he's the, he is the best at beating it. Yeah. Krim is losing a lot of life. Spends it all here. Uh, guard gauge bleeding. Woo! This stuff I know. Yep. Yo, this is gonna be another game. Or noblest. Wow. That's incredible. Snake has been using Inquisitors 5A so well. The run up 5A has been taking him miles in this mm -hmm. set. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, uh, just going to get kicked back to the lobby for just a second um, and then they'll jump back in. But yeah, Snake is up 1 0 in the reset. Uh, this is for all the marbles. This is to be the first uh, new champion for Mutiny in the last like six tournaments because Luan was on a five tournament streak. Uh, they were not able to make it today. Um, practicing a new controller, you know, had, yeah, uh, had stuff they want to work on. And so this will be our first new, you know, this will be our last champion of the year as well. That is something to consider. Yo, the new hold this title for a while. Hell yeah. Right. This would be a huge debut for Snake as well, showing up here for their first week in our tournament and, and taking it. That's a, that's a statement. Yeah, great mix up there with the overhead. And I don't know if you know this Alpaca, but this should be good. Uh, okay, I wasn't sure. I am very grateful you told me. Yeah, it's what I'm here for. It's what I'm here for. The Berserker stands gotta stick together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny when the game first came out. I had a question on who sees their super more, Berserker or Hitman. Now it's it's 100% Berserker. Yes. Yeah. Now the the ability to trade life again for mix up for a convert for calling out guard cancels, uh, but also to stick yourself into awakening and have 200 damage, you know, in any combo. It is insane. Like, it is such a powerful tool. I love the implementation, implementation of it. Um, oh, that's a that's a drop that almost went to a full reset. Nasty. So hard to deal with. Yep. 
See, this is tough because, yeah, primitive is, you know, just mm, going he, right he, now. He could have killed. I thought so. Yeah. Yeah. She just needs a combo into her super. Yep. We haven't, we haven't seen it yet today. That Burn remember. the heretic. That was, uh, that was the first super move I believe we ever saw in this game. Um, or at least it was one of the first. One of the first trailers. I remember it ends yeah. with like that full super. And I was like, yeah, this game is gonna be amazing. I think that is my favorite super animation. I I love it. I love it. Got big guard cancel. No bite. Woo. Oh my goodness. Good stuff there by Snake. Steal the momentum back. I thought that was a guaranteed last game. Uh, for primitive, but Snake says, hey, you didn't kill me when you should have killed me, and I'm going to make you pay for it. Uh -huh. It says in the DM DNF dual holy text, thou shalt not drop thy combos. <gasps> oh no, he can't kill. He does a lot, he can't kill. Okay. Guard oh, close the guard, guard break. Yep, oh. broken. Wow. Oh. Also, the fact that, you know, Berserker getting his new follow-ups when he enters Frenzy, like, he can whip and he can just be fine because a follow-up is coming after, you mm -hmm. know, with the standing 5A, 5B, I think 2B also, yeah, like, I think all of those get, like, new follow-ups. Yep. And the, they're great at anti-airing, right? You know, the combo potential you get with those new moves, like, th those are kind of take it for granted just because people are like, yeah, no, I, I know Berserker now. But no, those are incredible uh, tools that he gets from that buff. What score are we at now? Because I've lost track. Uh, one all, right? One one? Yep. Should be one apiece. Okay. I will now swing back to the chat. <laughs> back to when I... Whence I came. <laughs> oh my god, that costume that... change. Jump magic and neutral? Oh my gosh, so hype. Okay, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's so freaking good. I've seen it Small more in this set than I've ever seen. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm dead. <laughs> okay, that was hype. The command dash into DC. I love, I love that. That was a wild call, but it worked out. Playing himself dry. Yep, had to use it. Actually, it's such a powerful tool. Good combo starter, good combo extender. We talked about the damage that it puts on the combo. Ooh! Yeah. And the bait. Yep. I'm going to... That would have got me. Yeah, it's great. You see Berserker is just do an empty jump and just block. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was really smart to bait out that DP. It was. It absolutely was. But it's so hard because you're so used to just getting... Um, mixed. And so you're like, of course they're going to do a low, or they're going to do an overhead, or they're going to do a grab. So my DP should work, but yeah, the patience is just so hard to have when you're playing against the character. Card cage bleeding. Yep. That's not easy for an Inquisitor. Her moves seem like they should do more guard damage than they do. I'm not saying they should do more, you know. Oh my god. Dangerous. Whoa, that's a drop. Big drop too. That wheel, I'm shocked at how little that wheel does compared to like Gunhawk, for example. Oh yeah, so oh, especially comparatively. Ooh. Ooh -ooh. Missed the button, a little too fast. Yep. Now this is when I feel Berserker is at its weakest. Because, you know, you, you don't have your usual access to conversion if you have no health. And so, like, not being able to uh, to access kind of the tools that you know he's so reliant on, I think is uh, really difficult. <laughs> that was like a big drop. Oh. oh Jesus! Here he comes. I'm in the corner. Don't sound like you're a <laughs> <laughs> little berserker and pass. Oh Jesus Christ! Right over that 5B, yeah. 
He just did it twice. Oh my gosh. That's phenomenal. So we are 2-1. Uh, this is tournament point for Snake. Just want to verify with Sake that is correct. Yes, it is correct. Yeah. Under God, just do it again. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Ooh. Throwing the wheel out in neutral mid screen. Said something, but... <laughs> that that was hype flashy. Okay. <laughs> Three's company. Three's not a crowd. Three's company. Oh. Game. Yeah. This is huge. Primitive has done this a million times, so we'll definitely be able to get the kill here. As long as there is no drop. And yeah, there's no drop. He's got it. I always, always think back to like week one of this game when we all found out that OTG was everything for like the combo structure. Mm -hmm. That I was like, oh, Berserker's combo is done. And then I was like, excuse me, he OTG'd like four times. Like, I, what do you mean? Or like a Vanguard, you know, Vanguard's combo is all about being. Yeah, especially like, Vanguard, yeah, you think it's done and he's just coming down. Mm -hmm. Good start here by Snake. Yeah, that's a good option. Yep. Uh, that's 5A. Eh? Yeah. Not a lot of meter. Oh! Oh, yeah, he's dead. Fuck. Okay, tournament point by managing to jump and then dive bomb the dive bomb. That's amazing. That's that's so freaking cool to see. Now that's high flash. That's high. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not a big ball player, but it's fine. <laughs> Stays out of range of vacuum. Smart. Uh oh. Big damage. I won't say I how he put himself into a, Yeah, he, he's alive. I'm surprised he put himself into Awakening. Yeah, there it is. From staying alive, tying it up. Yep, we have permanent point for both of our competitors here. Lassie, get yourself back in here. Let's all let's all team uh, team up on this last match. Sorry for, <laughs> I feel bad calling. If it's, if it's reset, I take it. <laughs> it's reset, man. I was, it, was, it was wishful thinking. I'm gonna go think. Oh, wow, yeah. Interesting, because yeah, since he's the one who got the win. Um, but yeah, you know, taking a second is never a bad thing. Uh, let's just double check in Discord, make sure there's no uh, pings from him. Nope, he's good. Okay, Lassie, who's your call? I'm gonna call. Um, hmm, that's a good question. I'm I'm gonna put my money on Snake. Uh, they've been playing really well. Yep. We just had a few, you know, because the Trinidad has very done very well at avoiding. So that's 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 my call. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with you. I'll pack up. Gotta go with my bird circle boy, man. I was gonna say. Oh, beautiful. Perfect spacing on that. And finally finding something to beat the 5A. And death. Double overhead. Lastly, me and you talked about this. Just when you think that you're done blocking, you've only just begun. You know, because there's the conversion possibilities, there's, you know, empty jumps in the lows, right? Like, it, it's, it's difficult to know when, when and where uh, to block. And so nice having 50-50 with a snake. <laughs> I wonder what that's like. <laughs> is your safe jump, grab, or kick, is that safe? Round two. Uh, if, you the, if I want to do the throw, it is usually safe. Gotcha. It's only safe if, I, if my timing is speed. Okay, perfect. Good DP. Oh, this is going to be some good damage for the corner. He has the meter to spend here. I'm assuming she'll put the oil on. Yep, followed by the fire. Fire again. Oh! 
Oh, two with grab. As long as there's no drop. Is that if there's no drop? Yeah, for sure. He's such a low health character. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> my heart just shattered. Oh. oh. He gave him a chance. He's just like, Snake, here you go. I'm going to give you one chance. Yeah, one chance. Yeah, one opportunity. One opportunity. Dude, I literally yeah. have the exact same thing. Uh, yeah, that's how you know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Primitive is able to take uh, his uh, the title of DNF Mutiny Champ for week number 10. Uh, thank you guys for competing. That was an incredible tournament. Uh, an amazing grand finals. So I'm coming down to 3-2 after the reset. Uh, and seeing uh, Snake for the first time. Snake, please, please return to our tournaments. We'd love to have you here. Hopefully you found some great competition today, obviously. Um, but that was a fantastic tournament. And again, huge congrats to Primitive. Yeah, awesome. Sake, is that Primitive's first win? I yeah, I was so, actually right? going to say, when I was putting their name in, because the thing that uses... Uh, that we use to put the names in the scores it saves everything and we've had primitive and primitive l but never primitive w so they've never been on winner's side before uh but yeah but that's the first one that i that i think primitive has won yeah because we had all jamaican players and then luan the, the era of luan which will likely happen again and then uh and then primitive man that was a good that was a good freaking time yes yeah, so we'll go ahead and uh let you guys know some announcements uh, for the tournament moving forward. Give our kind of final thoughts and everything, and that'll be uh, that'll be great. So, I uh, just wanted to uh, let you guys know that we are going to be uh, doing a match arena once uh, the patch hits. And so, after the patch happens, you know our next tournament will have a match arena. You guys can uh, donate. I'll be donating some some funds. You know, we'll make it a, an exciting thing for everybody um, to kind of be a part of. Uh, we also have one other announcement as far as statistics go. Uh, Sake, do you want to talk about that? Yep, yep. So we've got it going. I just need to update this week and I think last week. I can't remember if last week is in there yet. Um, mm -hmm. But so we have a stat uh, a stat kind of site going that's going to help us determine like a power ranking, like who the top five or top ten, um, you know, strongest, as it were, entrance of Mutiny has been for the DNF series. Um, and what mm -hmm. the awesome thing to that it'll provide for us that I'll make sure and, and uh, produce so that we can all have access to it is it'll show you your total matchup chart with everyone who's entered uh, the mutiny DNF. So it'll show you know you know this many people have entered, you've played the example we always was it you and primitive. Uh, it was me like and Alpaca. You and Alpaca <laughs> is what it is. That's what it is. Hey, these guys play every tournament, and Alpaca really knows how to beat Lugia, is what this yes. this Excel spreadsheet is going to show you. You know, something like that. Um, yeah, so that will be coming out soon again. So we're going to have it effectively as like what is our um, our season one here, kind of, or first season of this, of these tournaments. So it's, with this being probably the last one for the month, uh, maybe something mm -hmm. special with the patch, but we'll have to see. These, these next months, I think, are going to be a bit, a bit busy and hectic for kind of everyone involved here with holidays and family things and of course we're all still gonna be playing fighting games so maybe nothing super super organized right um but yeah mm -hmm. but so that that'll all be in some of that downtime we'll go ahead and make sure we get that set up so that our next tournament's back we'll have that match reno prize pot everyone can put in their own funds see if we can get it up into where we have like the sponsor links and things like that so we can get the free money into it and yeah we'll also have those stats coming out with like a power ranking Maybe just a, another list, too, of who, who's won mutinies every time. It'll just be Luan's name like six times uh, in the in the middle there, or five times in the middle. But it'll be awesome just ha so everyone's got the record of, you know, hey, these are matchups I'm good at or bad at or what's going on. But, but yeah, that will all be available for you guys soon, TM. Um, yep, excited way. to share that with you guys. Uh, excited to respond to this comment about Lassie. Uh, you're hearing the, the, the crap talk about your hat? It's fine. It's whatever. I get it. Get it. They're just jealous it's... of my of my. I don't. I've got nothing. It's not gonna... it's... <laughs> I was gonna make some sort of. I brain didn't move fast enough. It's... Now I just look like a fool. It's how... How like you... a dang fool with the hat yeah. on. With the hat on. <laughs> how can anyone claim it? it's like that's like the stock lassie outfit? This is the one. Is this is the hat? It's always right. here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, no, Lassie. How'd you feel about the tournament today? Uh, how excited are you? Again, last time that we're all going to be formally streaming and talking, you know, in like a, in this this setup. Uh, this is our last tournament before the patch happens. And so, how do you feel about this whole experience in the past, as well as the experience we have coming for us in the future? 
Uh, yeah, I'm very excited to see what this patch. This patch is going to be a mess at the beginning. I mean, we can't mm -hmm. deny it. Berserker's got a throw that leads to a full combo. Why not? Um, <laughs> Appler can potentially in Awakening, you know, cancel his MS moves and other MS moves. I don't know exactly what that's going to do for him. Um, cause it could, it could increase pressure, but maybe not, who knows? So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. No doubt. Yeah, no, I'm excited. Alpaca, thank you for joining us, you know, for the first time and hopefully not the last time we'd be excited to, uh, have you around again, you know, when the opportunity, uh, when, when you're available. And so, yeah, how did you feel about, uh, this tournament series so far and, and what are you looking forward to the most, uh, once this patch hits? I definitely appreciate you guys having me cause you know, finding mutiny six weeks ago or six mutinies ago i'm sorry uh has really been great uh everyone in this community is fantastic and uh you know the games are always always fantastic in these uh in these tournaments so i'm really happy to be here I'm gonna stay here and uh well everyone's gonna get buffed and so the tears are not gonna change but we'll see <laughs> Yeah, I I cannot wait. I think we we're in for, for such a fun resurgence of the game, and uh, it's very possible that it will just end up being completely busted in some way. And you know what I think about busted fighting games? They're hella fun to play. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it could be difficult to deal with some of the offensive stuff, uh, but man, I cannot wait to just lab. You know, Lassie and I talked ranked is going to be dead for three days because everyone is just going to be <laughs> labbing their characters, figuring out what they can do. Um, before hopefully jumping into rank to try to climb climb deity again, which has kind of been un impossible in this game just because there's so few people out there playing. Um, and the new character in the future as well. Obviously, whenever uh, she arrives, that's going to be a good shakeup for the game. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to do us do it for us tonight. Again, it's very, very possible that some amount of content will come out when the patch hits. Um, you know, it may not be a formal tournament like this. We may just run a day one casuals thing if possible, right? Uh, I'm going to be with my family uh, away from my great internet I have here with my family's <laughs> country, town, internet. So we'll see what I can make happen. Uh, however, uh, stay tuned, right? We have some great guy, great things for you guys in the future. And just a huge shout out to everyone in chat. Huge shout out to everyone behind the scenes making this happen. Uh, it's been nothing but positive. And I am like literally actually uh emotionally grateful for this uh experience that we've all been able to make happen so yeah thank you guys mm -hmm. been great yeah for sure i definitely want to jump in and second that that again like i kind of we started mutiny originally with strive right and i know some of you guys watched some of the strive ones but yeah but it was like like hey no one locally is doing this we'll just do it and then now here we are you know on on the 10th week of dnf which is like the branching out of the original now it's a real thing the whole discord mm -hmm. full of people it's so many awesome competitors so many awesome people that are just here whether you're competing or just in the twitch chat or both or all of it you know even like a package found it has been hanging out cool person cool person now they're up here commentary that's this is like the coolest part of fighting games to me at least is like the you know, it's it's the friends you made along the way, right? Is the with with all of it, right? It's been awesome running this whole tournament series. Awesome having everyone. So yeah, big shout outs to everyone for just being here, hanging out. Whether you're you know subbing to this channel or following this channel, make sure you go check out Darth Lugia's YouTube channel too. That's where all the vods for this are gonna be. Um, and then, yeah, keep your uh, your your is eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled. I said ears peeled in my brain. It was wrong. Uh, but keep an eye out. That's, that one's right. Um, keep your eye out for, yeah, for when the patch comes out, we'll, we'll be doing yeah, Because I know Lugia will be traveling a bit. I'll be traveling a bit, so I won't have the whole stream set up. But I'm surely we'll fight, we'll figure something out for, to, for some. There'll be, there'll be some version of something, I'm sure. Not promising any. That's that's a very loose promise. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, that's something will happen. And of course, we'll be back at it um, once uh, all of our plans and everything kind of settle down with the start of the new year. Um, and everything like that and be right back at it with some more mutiny. Awesome. Thank you guys so much and can't wait to see you next time. All right. Peace out, everybody.